Morning, everybody. Morning. Are we ready for another week? Kiri and Elisa, thank you very much for the subs. Thank you very fucking much. Test. RG Cut, thanks for the bits. Can we get our bad b b b to the bone blam? b b b b bad to the blam. Uh, same thinks the sub. Blam's just been taken. Bedhog thinks the sub. Karina, happy 24th birthday. Could you help your old ma and dad by doing a bit of housework around the house now and again? That would be a bonus. Walton's and Snerb. Fuck this, get Roosters on. That was a one-off. Just dry, dry meals. Grounded is bend. Grounded is bend. Grounded is bend. We have a new point and click adventure. For you here today. The Wonder Boy and Bernie Snerb. Thanks again, thanks for subs. Chris Abet, thank you very much for the sub. Wish you another point and FFS the week at streaming. Chris Abet, see, everyone I was talking about, it works and has worked and is working and will work. Max in here, Charlotte, Charlotte, Ricky, Dover, Mikkel, Chimp Chap, Louis, Biggins, Mr. and Mad. Thanks for subs. Who said this? Uh, here's to one month of working from home. Who said this was isolating? Well said. If I understand what you're saying. Hold on, marbles. Um, meaning this isn't it, isolating. What's up what you're saying? Morning, everybody. Now, should I bother telling people... Uh, in case, it's kind of a dojo. Marbles in to already taken flight. Motley and mad. It's hard landing. We've not done that one. Give me a second. Don't, don't, don't the exclamation mark play. Won't do anything. Won't do anything. It actually locks you out for a week. If you did too soon. There you go. Exclamation mark play to play. Prior rule, SDF. Mushy moments. Thanks for subs. Six month contract working for home. Fucking yes. Thanks, Mushy. Chris Fofa and Ella. Two crooked fingers. Thank you very much. It finds me very well. Thank you very much. Willops. Cam and Pope, Valigi's best friend. That's the subs. Can we have the bet right now, please? The game that I'm going to play is called The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Bad hair Jones and Felix Flip. Go say something funny, please. A wee funny wee dog. Funny wee dog gone like. Just Craig, thanks for sub. Lock me out for a week, I dare you. It's automatic. Marble says it automatically. Lawn Tilt and Rebel, G Peebs. Davey, Hannah, thanks for subs. Please hide it. I've got, got it right fucking here. Can I get a dime by a cold bland from my Mrs. Sharon who's actually dying this morning? Big shout. Uh, the bland's been taken, but big shout out to uh, Sharon. Just down with the cold. 26 months, can't wait for this to get better. I've been told to stick with it. It's, it, it gets good at 30 months. Rachel and Jam, Edding, low tone, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. My friend Ben, who watches your stream, has just got some new black and laser green trainers. He's too nervous to wear them. He could give him the confidence that he needs. Get out there. Make everybody else feel nervous about them no wearing. The trainers. DMO the Bruce. Liquid Sid and Red Sauce. Thanks for the subs. Thank you very much. Homemade show is now an eye play. I don't know. I don't know where you can watch it. Glad you like Lemmy show. Um, 
I don't know, I should get in touch with my agent and say, if we have not got in touch with for fucking ages, and say, could you get in touch with the BBC and see what if they want to do anything with Lummy's homemade show? Are they just going to kind of, do they not want to stick on? Do they want to stick on iPlayer for another year or, or what? Can it be asked? Can it be asked? Can it be fucking asked? But I do feel like going like that. If they're no, I feel like sticking on YouTube, but I don't know if, if uh, I'm allowed to due to contractual reasons. I own the copyright and everything, but you know, you lease it to the BBC for the five years or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. Red Sauce and Barracuda, I wish I knew how to quit you. Clunky Bones and Jimbo thinks it serves the bits. Was, see, you know, it's like, it looks like gave you a shout out saying they would have invited you to the show. They should have. They said Jacqueline can't from with it. Oh, glad that I, some people are telling me. I get invited to the odd concert here and there, or do you want to come along, free tickets to some sort of gig here or there? I always, I always say I don't go out. I always say, and I don't, I do go out. I go out for a, a cycle and occasionally meet up with the odd person, but uh, gen generally, uh, I don't go out. Not in any kind of agrophobic sort of way, just, oh my God, the fucking day. Still in there and, you know, you can name the best band in the fucking world that I'm into. I can't be fucked going to see them. Can't be fucked. Stone there, my feet sore, my back sore, just going like that. I'm not drinking stone cold sober. It's... Constable, boff any thanks to subs. I've been away for three weeks, be grateful if you can catch me up. There's no catching up required. Brand new game today, forget about anything that happened the last three weeks, forget it. Try to play Subnautica again, hardcore mode, got a bit boring, binned it. Played some uh, Grounded, another survival game. Got a wee bit frustrated and bored with it, binned it. So, gone. Buffany thinks it's up. My mum said you have beautiful eyes and I wanted you to have some Bezos. Bezos, thank you very much. Mogwai thinks it's up. Feel bad about taking money out of Bezos' pocket during a cost of living crisis, but the banter buzz must roll on. Dogma, Roland Jobby, thank you very much. Whatever happened to the chin? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Gone. Moved. Muckle writing. Um, I've got to make that new 48 badge. That's right. I've just been so busy. Robbie George, I think the sub. Overwatch 2 muck this week? Probably no. I doubt it. I doubt it. No, no. Definitely not this week. But I don't think I'll ever stream Overwatch 2. Even if I ever do actually get it. Um, JPT thinks the sub. Average Joe, Casual Yogurt thinks the subs. Indie horror games, maybe. I'll take a look in my game recommendations channel and also the ones that I add to my shortlist. Because what I do is I go to the game recommendations channel on my Discord and um, uh, I delete them all. Uh, after I've decided am I going to add it to my wish list stroke buy them or I'm never going to play them so I just I just um, there might be some horror games on my wish list I use my wish list um, it's kind of bookmark kind of thing as opposed to I've got a wish list and I give it to people going to please buy me this it's not like that Ed59 Quebecer I don't even know you can do that thanks for subs Glad you don't need anything for me at this current juncture. Um, Zag Sayer, Kamikai, Scottish Mike, thanks for the subs, thank you very fucking much. Should I go and tell this? Uh, hold on, hold on, I'm going to tell the Twitter lot that I'm on. What if I don't? I mean, what if I don't? What will happen? What will happen if I don't tell any cunt? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not doing it as I go live. I'll do it at night. I'll do it at night, um, and I'll do like a wee picture to go with them, so that people at night go, oh, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? They should know. If you're not here by now, if you're not here by now, right? Let's get this on. Uh, let me. Uh, actually, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like doing this again. See, because we're coming up for, um, well, it is autumn. I'm just starting to right now. I don't, I don't need a thousand people to be in. 
It's just greedy. Oh well. Good luck. Good luck. No notification for the stream today, I don't know, is there no? I heard that Twitch has been, oh check this course. Shite. I heard that Twitch has been sticking notifications there for some people. Other people, lots of other people got notification. The good thing is with my schedule, is we don't need notifications. You know I'm going to be here. 9.30am BST, or whatever time it is in Scotland. Of nine in the morning in Scotland, Monday to Friday, guaranteed unless there's some something's went really really bad. That's the thing with the schedule. You know I'm going to be here. Guaranteed. Bye. You know I'm going to be here. Everything else is just you can't rely on it these days. But that's one thing you can really buy. Bye. Mindfully, Dave. Nope, Greenwich Scatman just. Oh, no. Nope. Bang. Mindfully, Dave, get your improv story ready. Thank you. God bless. Scovern, th Scovern thinks the sub, take this and fuck off, thanks. N Mick and I, I think so, thinks the subs and bits. Been up on right for a deadline, can you tell me something interesting to keep my spirits up? Um, just keep at it, you can go for a lot longer than you think. Don't think this is end, just think this is a, you can go for another 24 hours. Tell yourself. That's, that's your, in your 7 to 8 bracket there, between 7 and 8. Because it's 7, and that's between 7 and 8. Inclusive. Dr. Spookington, thanks to sub. Morning boss, been on holiday last week. Back in the hard draft to watch you. Welcome back. Welcome fucking back. Greasy hands, thanks to sub. No, notif no notifications needed for me, will not be watching. Did throw F limbs, thanks to the bits. Same Tory cunts is like saying chai tea. Thank you very much. Graham Lewis Dale thinks the three quid. Do you have any of your very first streams you can show us? I'm sure there's been a uh, improvement in the shape. You just have to look on YouTube. There is old ones, but I want to be showing them here. No, no, and, uh, unless I just ha it happens to pop into my mind. But I want to be going right. I'm going to go and show you that. If you don't mind, Jaylee and Orin Wolf. Thanks for subs. Looking forward to the next. Ben speedrun. Well, let's see how this game goes today. Dr. Nop Nop thinks a sub. My favourite chaser for the chase. Uh, um, Sunman. In, te in terms of uh, how they come across, Paul Sinner, uh in terms of any kind of cheek, back and forth, uh, the beast. Cakey Pig thinks a sub. Any advice for someone who is sick of their work but apprehensive about finding a new job? Get a new job lined up first, then once you've got it, away you go. Hates Govern thinks a sub. Hi Lemmy, it's me Gavin and my twin Amy's birthday today, but uh, could you please wish us a happy birthday? Uh, in your best dairy accent. Uh, Gavin and Amy, happy birthday. I hope you get a, a nice box of chocolates and a bunch of flowers. Uh, 
That's got nothing to do with that, by the way, just popped it on mind. Claymore thinks it's up. What covers make viewing tricky, but you'd best believe I'm here. Thank you very much. You're here for the fucking improv. Snock thinks it's up. Right here, right now. Live! Mention the tatties, thanks for the sub. This stream makes shitey Monday morning slightly more palatable. Glad to fucking hear it. Glad to fucking hear it. Jaylee, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Mindfully, Dave, your improv story idea is... No. What is improv? Man crosses the line. Okay, okay. Improv. Man crosses the line. Nope. I'm a pretty that's, that's a line. Kind of a ruler. I said, and I thought to myself, this might be a bit of a waste of time saying this, but when that person won, I said, get your improv story idea ready while the thing was still on the go. So he had plenty of time. And then when I went to see, no improv story, N-O. I don't want any of you in chat to say, he's got his idea now. That's, let me, he's in the chat. He's got his, I gave him about two minutes. No, 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 no. This improv, I, I don't care. Is he here? Okay, is he here? Right, but he wasn't there. Man crosses. This, uh, that, do we need to take this pain? Learn the learn from the pain. Learn from the pain. Man crosses the line. Let the story commence. This guy called Craig, and his partner was always just a wee bit. Always took it right up to the edge, and what? He was always hiding things and all that and kind of annoying people and then he would sort of stop it and all it took was for somebody like him to have the same sort of partner and they would sort of go a wee bit further, a wee bit further, you know, right up to the edge of fucking cliff, almost a wee bit, bit uh, 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 like that. There wasn't anybody like that, unfortunately. Some of his pals are like that though. Anyway, one of his pals actually uh, applied for a job in his workplace which is a call centre. And it was his pal John. His John his pal John came in and the two of them um they went too far, some of the part. They forgot they were in the workplace and Craig's part just kinda of crossed the line a wee bit. Just it was Craig, John, and there's this other guy called Graham. And Craig and Graham were sort of taking the piss at each other a wee bit. John chipped in with something that was a wee bit too far. It was all right. But it sort of egged Craig on a wee bit. And Craig went, ah, you're right. And then uh, it said something awful to Graham. Awful. It, 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 wasn't that, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was today we... Um, it was today... He had an illness. He had a kind of illness... Uh, six months back, it was kind of serious, but it was it was all right. It was kind of touch and go. It was fine. He was fine. That was him fine now. But he did. Uh, Craig did a wee joke about, or oh, you know, it would have been uh, basically he joked it. It would have been good if you died. It would have been good if you you had died. And it was today with John getting the job and all that. It was, it was meant to be a joke. It was meant to be a bit of a joke. But um, Graham went like that. <laughs> And then John said something, Craig went like that. I better get back to work. Come on, John. And then Craig went up to um, Graham. I, want, I don't want to even say, say what it is because you think that I'm coming up with this and there's no me that's coming up with it. It was uh, Craig. Craig went in, um, up to Graham in the kitchen later that day and said, Graham, uh, listen, see about... Oh, no, is that about what, what you said? I, it's fine, honestly. I, don't, I know I knew you were going to apologise. I, I don't worry. I feel fucking terrible. I think it's because... No, don't don't blame your pal. Don't blame your pal. It was you on, on your behaviour. But it's fine. All right, aye, aye, sorry. And then, right, all right. And Craig walked out the kitchen. 
And Graham was right. He, he did almost try to kind of blame John, but he wasn't trying to blame John. He was just trying to say that Craig was admitting that he is, has got a weakness for peer pressure and and um, showing off. He admitted it's his own weakness. He wasn't saying, it's John's fault. He actually did own his behaviour. And Craig just sort of stood there in the middle of the office, just ready. To... He's got to go back into the kitchen. And turned around, Graham was actually coming out of the kitchen with uh, two cups of tea. And Craig went, uh, listen, I guess it's like if you, I'm no blamed, there's a tea for you. Or is that for me? And Craig went to take this, he, Graham had made him a tea, you know, just almost as a kind of peace offering. And Craig went to take the cup, but um, Graham was holding it by the handle. And Craig went to take it like that. And ooh, 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 it, it was... Right, and he went, oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. He said, oh, oh, and there was a kind of confusion. Oh, oh, oh. Craig wanted Graham to let go of the handle quickly so that Craig could quickly go like that and then put it, you know, like that. Right? Oh, oh, ah, 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 right, 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 right. So that he could go, oh, and then, and then use the handle. What Graham thought he was doing was, oh, oh, ah, 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 just, you know, like, I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go because it's so hot. So Graham didn't let go of the handle, no yet, because he wasn't sure if if Craig was going to just let go and the cup was going to fall. Craig could have just let go of this hot thing, but he wasn't sure if Graham was about to let go of the handle. Do you know what I mean? There was a bit of a, oh shit. So it's like, <laughs> Fucking drop, done it went. Right? John laughed. And Graham saw John laughing. And just something t made him think that, that Craig was at it. And Craig, well, like, oh, to Craig, could you stop it, you guys? Can you, get, could you guys just stop it? And the boss, one of the bosses out there, was like, what, what's going on? What's been going on today? With you lot? And Craig went, oh, right, I, sorry, sorry. I was, it was, the cup was too hot. I thought, yeah, right. And Graham walked away and Craig went, oh, I'll clean it up then. Um, and then he went away to get paper towels and on his way there, he's just like, oh, no, fuck it. And he walked back to Graham. He's like, no, went, Graham, Graham, you dropped, it was you that dropped it. And John said, just, just leave it, it's cool. This is, the, and Craig said to John, this isn't a thing. And this isn't a funny thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to wind, I'm not trying to wind you up, Graham. I didn't, that was you that dropped it. Right? I was, it was too hot. I said... What is going on with you guys today? Can you stop it? I have someone on a call here who can heal you. And then Craig went like, here, fuck this. And Craig went away to the toilet and he came back and he went like that to uh, Graham. Here, peace off and let's just shake. I'm sorry, my fault. I'm sorry. Shake. And... Graham went like that to shake and in Craig's horn was a shite. He had palmed it like a magician. You know, like they can they can put a wee like a wee ball there and you can palm it like that. So it looks you could do that look. It looks like you've not got anything in your horn. But you've got it kinda in the in the creases there. He had a shite, he rolled it into a ball like a dung beetle. One of his shites. One of his shites. Well uh, sorry. He went like that. <clears throat> Squeezed it. Like, if you think of the thermal paste you put on a processor, you just put a wee bit, and when you press it down, it spreads. That's what happened. And Graham went like, oh, for God's sake! And Craig went, ha, ha, ha! And Graham went like, all right, that's us, like, 
Stop It Now, that was that was a good one. And John went like that. You took that too far. And Craig went, No, I didn't. You shut up, you. You're getting it. I know you cunt. And John went like that. Well, you're like, Craig, you're off a fucking, you're off a chart. And the boss went like that. What was that? What was that that's going on there? there? And Craig went like, You can fuck up. I know you cunt. And the boss went like, hey, hey you, got something to call here. <laughs> You're getting a pay rise for that. Oh, I meant pay cut. And Craig went like, you said pay, first answer counts. And he got a pay rise of £100,000 a month. The end. And you know what the funny thing is? I don't know if you could tell there when I was telling the story. That wasn't actually an improv story. That happened. I changed one or two of the names. Just so that nobody gets embarrassed. The guy called Craig was actually called John. The guy called John was actually called Craig. But the, the Graham guy... It sounds the same, but his name was Graham. But I changed it for an H to an E. A-E. -E. It's actually H. Completely different name. And I don't want to talk about any anybody else involved in the story. There's other people around, obviously. The boss, I don't want to talk about him. Um, That happened to me 21 years ago. To this day. To the day. Do you want to know which guy I was? I was... Sitting right next to John, watching the whole thing. They didn't think I was watching, but I was. I was sitting right next to him like this. Look, that's why you didn't hear me in that story. Very sneaky, very sneaky. They thought I was they, they thought I was just just another drone. Not a drone. Not a worker bee. Just sitting there getting over and you know, don't pay attention. For soaking it all up, I thought one day I'm gonna need these stories. One day. Phil's the fix the sub. Incredible improv story, probably your best yet. Thank you very much. Ron's McDonald's thinks the sub. Let's get a stupid Let's get a stupid thing here then. Can we have this stupid bet here, please? Spartan and Hempoid, Andy, Adrian K, Mindmester, Mahoy Mock. Thanks for the subs. Welcome back. Citrus Ghost, thanks for the bits. Pulled something off my parents' cat's tail yesterday. Made the mistake of smelling it. Turns out it was his own Bobby nut. Oh dear. Oh dear. The bet is on. Okay, let's not do cards and the fucking wheel. We'll be at bets off fucking day. Scooter Gang, thanks for sub. Thank you very much. Right, cards is here then. After this, we've got cards. One cards. One cards bet. Um, so it's October, everybody. This is my month, my birthday. I was like, I did tw wait a minute. Did I just see? Aye. My birthday is on the 20th of October. I shouldn't be telling you that because with that information, you could break into all, all my bank accounts. All my offshore bank accounts. My Swiss bank account. You could get into my wee diamond, um, what do you call it? You know, the wee uh, safety deposit boxes. Or the diamonds. Aye, my mines. My fucking, my off planet. Mines. Moon mines, aye. 
Spaffy Clam thinks the sub. Happy Contober. And you, Liam thinks the sub. Can I just thank you for getting me back into toast and butter? But not just butter. Lemmy levels of butter, hunters of butter. Aye, get a, get a fucking crumpet. If you want butter, get a crumpet. The amount of butter you can get into that without even seeing it. Sophie Maria and Lucy Kelly thinks the subs. We are here in October, everybody. <coughs> we are here in October. The butter goes in the holes. And you think, oh, I've not put enough butter in it because it just vanishes. Now that, shake start. Boring. There you are. Can have that paid out for these lovely people. And then, go to this. Bin the wheel. Well, it's done now. Well done. A lot of cards are here, don't worry. That's a four, will the next card be higher or lower than a four? Two is lowest, ace is highest. Will it be higher, lower, or the same higher, or lower, or the same? Will it be lower, that is a three or a two? The same, that's a four, because this is a four. Or higher, all the way up to ace. Katsu killer in the Mac. Dr. Himsa thinks the subs. Do you like men at work? I like, um... Down Under, or Land Down Under. I think I heard another one that I thought was alright. I've met him. I've met him. At the Fringe. At an interview thing I was at. And he was just very chatty and very nice. Yes, he was down to earth. They weren't talking about the band either. Or M, capital M, capital W. That's the good thing with people who know about proper nouns and things like that, what you should be doing. Not Rhea thinks the sub, as opposed to people on Twitter that might recommend a game or a band and it's all lowercase and I'm like, I don't know if you're saying a sentence to me, I don't know if you're just kind of telling me about something, or if, where's, where's the name of the band in this? It's higher, it's a jack. That's that. Okay. You went lower. You went lower. Good for you. You lost. Well done, you. You lost. You went for ultra thrill or thrill seeker here. You lost. Okay, it's not that kind of weak. It's not that kind of weak. Esteemed. Sheer, McD and Rare Candy thinks the subs and bits. I'm never stop fucking streaming, never. Yous will stop watching before I stop streaming. I'm going to get some premium dreamies. I'm going to look for the gold plated ones. Mag Shaney thinks the sub. I'll do name or telly stuff, no. Name or telly stuff. Somebody asked me yesterday, what was I? Was at the shops? Yesterday, the day before. I went, no, no, and I said something else. I've been, ever since I've been gone out on the bike and just gone out without my cap on, I might not sound like a big deal to you, but I became fucking very reliant on my cap just because it got into my head. One or two people kind of looking at me or maybe taking a sneaky picture or something like that from afar in a restaurant. Started to encourage me to like wear a cap so I could just sort of hide a wee bit because I like people coming up to me and I like people coming up to me and getting pictures. But something about it made me self conscious and it just sort of fucking went a wee bit, um, a wee bit too far. So I've deliberately, when I'm going up the town, gone anywhere, I don't wear a cap anymore. Um, and it, and it feels it feels good. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, and it isn't a big deal really. But it was starting to make me no want to sit places, face a certain way, go a certain place, you're fucking hiding. It was honestly like giving me a kind of turn on a fucking turtle sort of feeling, even though it's not like I'm like um, some sort of fucking uh, hot shot and I go down the street and everybody's tearing my fucking clothes off. 
but it, it feels it, it, it feels a lot better and uh, more people have been saying hello and coming up to us and pictures and somebody said to me yesterday me, me and Daniel went for a, a wee cup of tea somewhere and a guy said that his uh, wife or girlfriend or somebody has been three years sober and watches me uh, when she's working constantly Monday to Friday so whoever that is Hello there, and hello to everybody. So that's that's a good thing to get to. It, it, it's it's good um, hearing these sorts of things because there's um, honestly, as I've said before, I have been absolutely fucking tuning right out at any kind of negative aspects of streaming and stuff on Twitter and all of that, all the negative things. You know how I've moaned before about um, drama-related things or general moans or complaints and things like that? Um, with the exception of actual serious things, like stuff that my, my mods take care of, um, I've just been tuning right out. I've been deliberately unfollowed everybody, no look to anybody, don't check streams out, don't check Twitter out. Don't participate in any fucking chat chit chats about it. Don't think about anything. Anything pops into my mind. What if this? What if that? Should have this? Should have that? I don't think about it. I think about the here and now. And I've been doing that for I don't know a week or two, and it has uh, helped tremendously. And see, just wee things like gone out and uh, people saying hello. And things like that. It's it's just fucking. It's like it's a kind of reality check. I know you might think how how is uh, people coming up to you and saying hello a reality check? That's no reality. That's like Hollywood, Lemmy. <laughs> we live in the real world, not you. I mean, actual physical, real interactions with people who like your fucking stuff or like what you do or anything like that. Um, as opposed to. A tendency that I've had in the past, and I'm going to talk about it as if it's in the fucking past, even though I've only been doing it for about two weeks, of fucking, um, like, focusing on and fucking uh, zeroing in on any negative sort of thing. The, the equivalent, basically, uh, when I used to do stand-up stuff, where you could see, like, a lot of people out in front of you um, in an audience or whatever, or, or just a, a wee group. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying I was in front of these gigantic groups of people. Uh, audiences, you know, there was 3,000 at the Armadillo, though, but that was a kind of one-off. One well, it was actually four Js, one to, 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 to the Sunsea. Um, There's 12,000 people all in. I could have sold out the Hydro one night if, I, if, I, if, if it was built by that point. I can't remember. I think it was. Um, but, but you don't want a Dublin scenario on your hands um, and depending on what sort of person you are you could see lots of people smiling or laughing or anything like that and it's just this one person there who's like that and you can go like that like you just kind of keep looking back to them forget about every cunt else you just keep like you know look Like that. Wanting it to be perfect. Um, and I've just stopped doing that. Effectively. Effectively. You know, metaphorical. Let me, there's a book. I'm not reading any books. I'm not reading any books. I'll be, there's a book I've been reading. Quite a big one. Um, uh, what would you call it? Biography? No, biography or... Uh, a book about a, a very bad person. Uh, please don't name names. Don't want any heavy stuff in the chat. It's quite thick. And I've been reading it for what it feels like two fucking years now. I mean, I've not been like constantly every night. It takes me ages. Just, it, you know, you get around to it. What is it? Your auto, autobiography? Dan Roach, thanks to sub. Thank you very much. After you're playing Silly Beggars, John, take on me. Silly Beggars? That's Silly Buggers. Maka, thanks for sub. 
I just felt like I change uh, for the first series to the second. The second series, I changed the right and I changed the direction. The plan was to change this, uh, the cast for the second series to the third as well. But I just decided, oh, fuck it, no, just like the second. Ron's McDonald sings to the bits. Thank you very much. I want to work from home till I die. Well, I hope that happens in a good way. David Bond and Dean ask you why to work all the way up to your grave. David Bond and Dean get the bus bus. Thanks to subs and bits. Buy yourself a Fredo. <laughs> Surprise a Fredo these days anyway. Laugh a dog thinks his old gaze a quick Mr. Mulvaney. Cassie! Cassie! What's this fucking chocolate egg? What? Clan thinks it's up. Hitting the high note. I feel like I've missed somebody, but I've no. The instigator thinks it's up. Very well. I honestly feel a lot better. It takes fucking effort. It takes effort. See, whenever I talk about things like this, it takes effort to to sort of wean yourself off a kind of negative fucking shit. I'm well aware that I was a guy that was on the telly and I'm doing well for myself playing games for a living. Right, I get the context of what I'm saying. You know, when I, everybody's got their problems and all these sorts of things, but it's very hard to be taken seriously when you talk about any sort of mental health stuff when you play games for a fucking living. Right, but... Um, from my perspective, I'm talking about... I don't think that about other folk. Um, but it's definitely helped, but it takes effort because, honestly, my mind just keeps wanting to gravitate towards the negative things, the negative things. And I just... Uh, it just clicked with me and I said this a few days ago. I can actually fucking choose to switch this off. I can actually choose to no pay attention. I can actually choose to no care about the things that I shouldn't be caring about that is there's things I should care about and I do care about but there's other things I don't need to care about and they're inconsequential and it's just people talking a lot of shit or there's just some pish going on something like that basically you know just wee things I can choose to tune into that if I want to or I can choose to know but you, you do have to um, make an effort that hairline is honking. Todd Ballister, you're honking. Your breath's honking. Everyone about you's honking. In fact, I can strip you of that VIP right fucking now. Kalucci, thanks to the sub. Keep gravitating to positivity and get Freddy on. They fuck, am I right? You're fucking right. I'm not going to do it, no. No. That, that, no, that's an abuse. That's an abuse. That that VIP was earned fair and square. Right? You, 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 you don't like my hairline. It's fair enough. Um, Turbo, I wonder if you could do me a wee favour. Could you... Uh, um, possibly tweet me a picture of your face, including your hair? Just for this sort of angle like that. That kind of angle there, maybe. Or that. You know, something like that. Just a kind of police type. You know, like that. You know, you look up to the wee spot in the corner, you just want to know, you're only criminals like me. I'm a criminal. Marianne, thanks to the sub. Who needs to worry about heating bills of this cosy stream? Stingy, thanks to the sub. Shout out to congressman. I want to begin a shout out to any congressman. I don't know who the fuck that is. I hear congressman, I think. Republican and... Uh, no politics, please. It's again. Right, what's that? I don't know. Lying. Lying. Just lying. Just lying. Lying. You're not going to show me lying. Right, so it's no... Right, this slum dog milk. Fuck it. Uh, don't know. Don't know. I don't, I don't watch films with him in it. Uh, what is that again? No, no, uh, uh, look, uh, do you know? You got it? That's fucking film's already been on it! Right, one second. I'm never, I don't know, Luno. 
One sec. I'm not. I'm not Denny's again. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Poster. That's shit. And this. Oh, Halloween films. I'm not doing that either. I'm not. I'm not doing that either. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not spending ages looking at the fucking actor. Though. That's not the way. That's not the way this channel was gone. All right. We're doing like Hurdle, 80s Hurdle, and like another one. Right, we're not going to waste our time with some Pet Shop Boys song that I don't know, an Erasure song that I don't know. I've been listening to Erasure albums recently. Only about, honestly, it's, uh, the first three albums have got something like 11 songs. Each one's like 11 songs. There's only about three songs in each of them that I like. There's some of them that I kind of like. Actoral bin, there's no point. See anything where, even when me really, really thinking about it, I might not know this actor. I, it's a, I'm, I'm not prepared to put up with that level of sadness. I'm not going to do it. I avoid sadness. Kareen thinks the sub. Uh, do you still have an agent? If so, why? Just a kind of legacy, a legacy thing. I've got no intention of doing any sort of work, if you know what I mean, the telly stuff, but there might be something that pops up for, like, um, a BBC thing today with, like, Levy's Homemade Show or a Lemmy Show thing or they th these sorts of things. Nothing, legacy agent, nothing new, nothing really new, but for uh, bits and bobs that might pop up. Like, if... Uh, Imagine the comedy unit got in touch with me and said, we're wanting to put, um, I don't know, let me show here or date there or something. Um, here is the money that we're going to give you for that or something. I don't know. Was it an agent? I'd just be going like that. All right, then. Whereas an agent would be like, I right, fuck off. Peachy, thanks, thanks for gifting me five subs. Thanks a lot. G. Marlins in Lankford. Mark, thanks for subs and bits. Can I just shout out to uh, out chat for typing ha 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 as laughing and not a wall of LOL. I think I, I think it was me who started the ha ha thing. See when everybody was doing the LOL. I was doing ha ha. And I kept at it. And knew a lot of people do ha ha. I think it was me. I kept at it. I mean, I never laugh. There's got to, I don't know, one in 50 fucking times, one in a hundred even, that when I type ha ha in a message, I actually did laugh. At best, I'm doing this. Ham Shank, say thanks to sub. New badge day always reminds me just how long I've been chucking a few quid away. Thank you very much. Even during a, a, during a cost of living crisis. Well, just keep in mind, and I'll just say this once at the beginning of the week, of the week, if you've got Amazon Prime, there is a way that you can subscribe and gain access to around 50 emotes and get the annoying ad at the beginning of my stream free, well at least at no extra expense to yourself, already paid for with your Amazon Prime subscription. It's called a Prime uh, sub and this is all you do. You go to gaming.amazon.com or type Prime in the chat, exclamation mark Prime in the chat to get the link if you can't be asked typing it. And there it links your Amazon account with your Twitch account. Once you've done that, you don't have to do that part ever again. That's that done. The second part is you come here and you click subscribe. And it'll be an option at the bottom saying use Prime subscription or something like that. You tick that or you flip the switch or whatever it is. And here's what will, will happen. You'll get access to around 50 my moats. You'll get the annoying ad at the beginning in my stream. And I will get chucked Actual real cold, cold hard cash from Jeff Bezos. 
know you, you've already paid for it. It's included. Bezos pays for it. Why would they do that? Because Amazon owns Twitch and they present it as one of the benefits of having Amazon Prime. But the thing is, you've already got it. You don't need to get sold on it. You've already got it. This is actually where you clone some money off of Bezos fucking sticking it in my fucking pocket. You can do that once a month. It's not just one off, one month thing. Once a month you come back and you'll know your subscription has run out because you'll see an annoying advert at the beginning of my stream and you'll be like, let me say when you're subscribed, you don't see an ad at the beginning of your stream. Wait a minute. And it'll be like we think like resubscribe, click on that, prime sub, done. That's it. You don't have to do the gaming.amazon.thing thing again. That's done. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it for the rest of the week. That's it. Just saying. Sean Elaine and Dohana. Super Miles, thanks for the prime subs. Enjoy the emotes. Flawful in 5 a.m. Thanks for subs, lemon squeeze. Grand Designs of Four Thanks to Bits. In Mark Appel karaoke sketch, are you telling the cameraman to run when you exit the club? Um, I'm telling I'm telling the viewers to run when I run out of the pewter pot, whatever it is. I'm telling you to run. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Uh, let me mark a pillow. Jimmy Buckby, Q Edwards, Laggy Lobby, Strings thinks the subs. Thank you very much. Why the fuck would you care what I've got to say? Oh. Blubber Boy thinks the sub. Not a prime sub. Thank you very much. Christopher thinks the sub. If you were to go in Hell's Kitchen, what would be your signature dish? <laughs> Something shite like porridge and like uh, spaghetti hoops. Sean Elaine, Dohana, at Super Miles. Chameleon, thanks for subs. What was the last thing you bought off Amazon? The shite that I was planning on using for my new desk. I think they clipped onto the desk here. This sort of thing, look. Oh, this fucking shite that I'm even going to use, look. That kind of thing. I think it would go into the desk, hold the camera, it's going to adjust the camera. I can't do it because it's all, it's all too fucking wobbly. Just sitting there. Sits there doing nothing. There will be some use for it. That will get used. See, one of the things I got at, at New Hod's this light, this light here. Before that was on a tripod, kind of taking up space and it clips onto the desk. Doesn't matter if that wobbles, that's all right. Um... Peachy Lauren, and this is Kirsty, thanks to subs. My next sub will be on my birthday. This should be enough notice for you to plan something special. I'm looking forward to it. Fuck my birthday. Um, GB Cove UK, thanks to sub. Guess the film from this quote. You've got nothing to say. I'm just saying it too loudly. Don't know it. That's why I'm not going to play the games anymore. Chances are I don't even know that film. Never watched it. That Joe Moo, thanks to sub. If the chat and uh, the, the chat and stream was a constant flow of requests for you to do a new show, would you? No. Big Stones and Cumulene, thanks for the subs. Thanks again. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing anything. The Salty Leaves tune. That Salty Leaves tune, the fluorescent. Gav, thanks for the subs. Kids play Conkers these days. Fuck knows. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I know Daniel does not Feeling quite good about things today. Anything you could do to bring me crashing right back down to earth? No, stay up there. Stay high as a fucking kite. Todd Blister, thanks to the bits. Hairline picture has been added to Twitter as requested. Please be kind. Let me see. Thank you very much, by the way, Mark Gray. Had my shoulder surgery last week and feel like death. Any words of encouragement? 
You got the surgery for good reason. For good reason. Uh, I have received no tweets uh, with pictures or anything like that. Has been added to Twitter as requested. What is it? When you say added, you don't mean like you've you've tweeted or put in your profile picture like I actually follow you or know who you are. <laughs> Probably tweeted. It's not, I'm not you, you, you've got, what you can do is they at, I'm on Twitter, so see if you do at and then daft lemme winding me up. That's it. Haha. -ha. Glasgow thinks of the sub. No part of the character, thank you very fucking much. Neutral Thoughts thinks the sub. Always be always be para. Monster thinks the sub. Why, why, why are the pyramids are located in Egypt? They were too big to transport to England. That's a shite joke because the beginning bit, why are the pyramids located in Egypt? It's just a pure shite at the beginning with. Tagged the wrong lemme. Probably fucking did. Um, why are the pyramids located in Egypt? Because that's where the the, the ancient Egyptian civilization was. Jake thinks the sub. How does spend with probably is it by the way, that picture if it actually have tweeted my pictures? Is it them? Is it them? Somebody else? You know what happened? It'll be a picture that'll look so fucking bad that I'll actually have to go like that. Oh, you actually look uh, you're very lucky, you look alright. But you you look so much better than me. The Sherpa Depp and Jake thinks the subs. How do I spend my weekend? I spend my weekend going to search the floor, River Clyde, in the hopes of finding your bloated, decomposing body. I'll be there again next weekend. Jake, is that the same part you used? Is 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 that the same part you used last time? How did I spend my weekend? I spent once again searching the floor of the River Clyde in the hopes of finding your bloated, decomposing body. I'll be there again next weekend. Not sure to reconsider your existence or so. Is that the same part you used before? I've heard that before. Either it was you that said it before, or it was somebody else. Either way, you don't do that. That's not how uh, funny things work. That's not how funny things work. You know, you don't just come back and go, do you remember that time you laughed at that thing I said? I could say it again if you want. That's not the way it works. But let me, you say like, she's turned the wings against us and... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, everybody, this is my special birthday month. I'm gonna ask for you to try a wee bit harder with the part. I'm sorry. Dig deep with the part. Bordening takes the sub. Everybody, let me get this game kinda on the screen and ready so you know something's coming, right? Duncan and Bognine thinks the subs. Can you tell my girlfriend Beth that she's bonkers snonkers? Beth, you're bonkers snonkers. Gives me a second. Taboo. You're bonkers snonkers. Look, everybody. Look, what's coming. Oh! Eh? Hmm? Something a wee bit different, perhaps. Nikki and Beeswax thinks the subs. Origins are John Paul. Oh, just fucking guys that I grew up with, basically. Guys have bumped into up the tune, guys have tried to avoid. I mean, remember I, talk, remember I talked about the guy. I know that music's still, still on. Oh. Um, Something happened. Do you remember 
the guy I said in Millport that was familiar with one of my pals for Arden, and he said, come on, come on, and I was like, no, I'm just going to head, what, what's his name, Lammy, Lammy, come on, I was like, no, I'm just going to, I'm going to fucking dance in the seed, I'm going to dance in his seed, I used that part, in uh, one of my John Paul, I think I used it in one of the John Paul episodes, I'm going to dance in his seed, uh, what's with the heavy grills, that's something that was said when I was growing up. There was a guy at a bonfire. There's a bit of a bonfire. There's, a, there's one of the uh, podcast episodes, John Paul, with a bonfire. Um, and I think he says to Alassie or something, what's with the heavy grills? And she's looking at him because she likes him. And I got that because I got that for a guy, an actual real guy in Karen Wodrick, who was a bit shady. Um... I think one of my pals was at a bonfire where this cunt and this cunt said to one of my pals what's with the heavy grills? So a lot of it is just fucking taking remembering stuff and um, or coming up with new stuff based on well what's the heavy grills? Like somebody's growling at you they're like looking at you as if, you know, try to, you know, like, looking at you in a bad way. That cunt's fucking growling at you. That cunt fucking growling at you. know, just somebody like that. You know, like a dog growling. You know, literally going... <laughs> um, heavy growls, heavy meaning, you know, worse. Or more, uh, you know, bigger. More serious. What's with the heavy grills? Like, what's with the big, big fucking heavy, more bigger, more biggerest grills? What's with the heavy grills? He was like that, and pal, I, I think my pal or whoever it was, fuck it was. Nothing. You know, you, know, you just back down, back down, or you get stabbed. Grow back is over, thanks to subs. When you've got nothing to say, say nothing at all. You've always got something to say. Griddle and circumcised KFC, work on Kasla. Miss Jack, Nicky, Duncan, Ink Ribbon, thanks to subs and bits. Just a quick shout out to my wife, Jemima. Congrats on the modelling contract. Hey, what's that all about then? Right, here we fucking go. Thank you very much. Grow back, think, 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 so sub. Right, here we fucking go. Everybody, I have got a new game for you uh, called The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, which was kindly recommended to me in my game recommendations channel on my Discord. And I had a quick look at it and I thought, yes, this is what I'm playing on Monday. This is what I'm playing on Monday. Point and click, looks a wee bit strange. Let's get into it. Right. Fucking. No. Right, let's get your, uh... Yeah, all, all seems fine to me. Click to advance dialogue. I think so. I think so. Right. All right. New game. Let's go. That's it. That. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Look. Move me there. Look. <coughs> Somebody's coughing. Right click. That's me, everybody. Fucking yes, man. Keep going. Oh! 
Oh! Ah, Miss Bateman. Voice acting! Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. I've got collected advanced dialogue. Uh, turn it up. Turn it up. Right, here's what we'll do then. Um, here's what we'll do. I'll turn the whole thing up full blast. Right. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. Right. Nurse Blaketon. Right. Right. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. Right, well... It's your death out here. Well, where's the... Oh, hi, right. Here we go. Well, that's quite good. I've got this up. F I've got this up full. Game a bit louder. Dearest mother, I hope this letter will reach you. Hey, press escape. Can he, can he go to the menu during these sort of... I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. Hello? Is it a heavy grouse? I endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. <laughs> he suddenly was in me a fucking. Uh, in me a shooter. I've heard of your left shooter and your right shooter, but your Leonard shooter. I've heard of Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy, me. Nee. Me. RG cut things to the bits. I'll turn you up full blast. I'll fucking oh. End of it. He said I'm off it. S Clark Audio. Thanks for the subs. And there's the sec. Thank you very much. First of two. Oh, how is that? Thank you very fucking much, S Clark. Well, how's that? Look. Shadows of Trees brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. Me and Lynn were watching a programme about Broadmoor. Oh, here. Bewley. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I oh, shit! Bastard! Because it is click to advanced dialogue. To advance the dialogue, to advance it. At the end of what she said, I waited just a wee moment and then I clicked it to advance, but it was already ready, it was already to present me with the next one anyway, so I just clicked beyond it. I have I think I have just skipped something extremely important left click to walk interact right click to examine to access the inventory and menu move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen left click on an inventory item to select it right click to examine it once an inventory item is selected you can right click to deselect it right What? Left click on an inventory item to select it. So let's say there's a wee... Let's say there's a fucking spanner. 
I click on it, right, to select it. Oh, aye. So if you right click on it, without it being selected, it examines it. If it is selected, and then you right click on it, it will deselect it. I see. You can double click on an exit to teleport directly to it, if I can't be fucking walking to it. The game will occasionally auto-save, you can also save anytime via the menu, save scum, very good, very good. Keyboard shortcuts, escape to the menu, M for the map, when available. F5 to quick save, F7 to quick load, good old quick save buttons. Space bar, hold the space bar to show interactable hotspots. Right, that's if I'm like, oh, where, do, where, where, do, where, can I, where can I click? Where can I click? Where can I click? Yes, man. Yes! Right, music volume, speech volume. Uh, everybody, everybody happy with the speech volume? Are they happy? Yeah, right. There we fucking go. Jesmo thinks it's sub. Great content as ever. What's your favourite song ever? After Tart Mahid, this is, isn't it my favourite song ever? Heart by the Pet Shop Boys. It isn't it. I just happened to listen to it today. Premium Toadfield, Toad thank you very much for gifting me five subs. Rich Uncle Skeleton thinks the sub. This has date in the park vibes. Can you give them some British accents, please? I don't no, they've already got they've already got they already speak. I no, I think this is gonna be good. A date in the park has got a kind of funny like wait it. Right, here we go. I think like there we go. Look sign. I will right click. Yuli, I have great expectations for this barrow. Barrow. This is some old term. Right. Bewley, I hey. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? <laughs> <laughs> I ought to read Mr. Shoulder's letter again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. All right, then. Let's go up to the top. And I will right click on letters. Dear Miss Bateman, I write this letter in the hope of piquing your curiosity. I read, I read, I read about, oh that's right, it's read. Oh you kind of see it, you kind of see it. I read about your expertise in barrows and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them and the treasures they contain. What is a barrow? I live in the village of Bewley, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped to local legend and there is rumour of secrets to be found deep within. A burial chamber? A tomb? Ooh! I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and excavate the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the Plowfarrow Inn, Bewley. I shall await your letter. Your respectfully, kind regards, etc., 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 And then we got another one. Dear Miss Mason, marvelous news. I shall meet you at 8 o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new month at the Plowers Farrow in Bewley. The inn is fine rooms that you find adequate for your short stay. When we meet, I shall tell you more about the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not located on my own land, but we will have no issue getting permission to excavate. I can assure you of that. They wouldn't dare deny me this. I wish you a safe journey, so on and so forth. Can we go? Etc. 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 Et, et. Right. I must make my way to the Plough and Furrow Inn. Who's that? Who's that?
woman. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. She was the there. She, she was the there at the other side of the track. Um, left click. Excuse me. What's with the heavy grills? Yes. Where is the plough and furrow in? I'm looking for the plough and furrow in. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. See, I've got a click to advance it, you know, just in case I want to chit chat. They've allowed me that option. It's almost a streamer option. Like, if I want to go like that, I don't... I, I want to... Right, in, in, in a particular direction. You'll right. come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. To the sides. Thank you very much. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. So it's your fault then? Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Well fucking said. Well said. Is that is... Where are you travelling to? Are you travelling? What's, what's in your bag? What's in your bag there? Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Well, I decide. I'm the pair. I'm, I'm, I'm playing the game. I'll decide what's getting asked. Let's look at the tracks. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Always. So she's like, she always told you that. So you woke up in the morning and she's just constantly saying, all the time, all the time, don't walk in railway tracks, don't walk in railway tracks, don't walk in railway All the time, always. That's the only thing she said, always. I don't believe that. Well, obviously I don't know. It's not obvious. It's not obvious. Right, let's go. Whoa. I tabbed out the fucking game. I clicked off the fucking screen. What happened there? Uh, right, what? This way? Uh, what brings you to Beulah? None of you are a fucking a business. Your pardon? Tell her. It goes, it goes both ways. It goes both ways, doesn't it? What brings you to Beulah, miss? Um, tell the truth, I have nothing to hide. Lie. She looks superstitious. Tell the fucking truth. No, I'm going to tell her. Let's see what she's got to say. I'm here to visit a local landmark. Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. Liar. For what reason? None of it. Well, I will tell you... I will tell you if you tell me where you're gone. I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. Right. Not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. Right, you're sounding like you don't want me to, like, I try to hide something. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Right, you're kind of sounding like the older brother guy in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where... Now, these girls don't want to go around on some old house. Best to just move on. Best to just go back to the... Now, these girls don't want to just go back to some old house. Best to just go back to the... You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. Oh, she's off. She's off. That was odd. Right, let's go now. Paying attention. Let's go. That's it. Follow the wall. Oh, ah, ah, ah! 
It was the exit that, 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 that lit up, right? Okay, so I so that just happened. Um, a crow. A crow with red eyes. I'll tell you something, I fucking like this. I like this. Mr. L King, thanks for sub. Subscribe for free with my free Prime sub. Thank you very fucking much. Bretley and Precision thinks the subs. I've run out of power. Can I have a wee top up, please? Look within. It's, it's at, you've actually got it on you. You've got it within you. So it's just um, Cat McMuscles, Adam Stevens, Double D's. Kiki thinks the subs and bits. Monkey Island, no. I've played it before. I kind of know what it is. Lots of fucking click through. Lots of dialogue. Crying Branston and inside the game frame. Peachy Lorna thinks the subs and bits. I don't want to get too depressing. No, I'm fucking glad to hear it. Thank you very fucking much. Peachy, glad to hear it. Scoopski and Sertia, thanks for the subs. Here we fucking go. Let's go. Go here, go here, go here. I know I know we should maybe go there, but let's just pop in here, go. The old woman told me to go straight ahead. I know what she told me, but I've got my in mind. Time to explore tomorrow. I've got time to explore right now. That door now. The old woman told me to go straight and have okay. time to it. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Is that the barrel there? A bucket. He's that bucket. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. I will pick it up. We're going to need that. We're going to need that for a helmet. We're going to need that for a helmet. Oh. I'm hiding behind this bale of hay, but I can't seem to hide my head. If only I had something to hide my head with. Hey, lady. I see you, binder. Come back out. Mm. Can't seem to hide behind the bale of hay for longer than a minute. If only I had something to hide my head. Get the bucket. Go around behind the bale, uh, bale of hay. Oh no, oh no, here comes the guy. The man. Where the bucket? There's no one in here. Oh, there's my old bucket, mate. Might get that later. The bucket has seen better days. Fucking we are. Now, how is the volume of the ambiance and the music? Good, lovely. One person says loud. Generally fine. Good, 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 good. Holy Sock, thanks for giving me five subs. Thanks a lot. Cooper, thanks for the sub. I love old 8 bit games that came with Dairy Technical. Dairy Technical, I like that. Dumb Gamer Boy. And uh, thanks for the sub. sub pri a prime sub for a subprime streamer. Thank you very much. <gasps> hmm? Dynamo says it's loud. No, no, you kind of just come in a wee bit. You kind of just come in at the end and go, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll say something bad and ruin everything. No, we, we know you're at it. Getting raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. Fucking is, man. It's forgotten. Forgotten art. Uh, let's pop in here. The blacksmith looks closed. Well, go in and steal something then. Horseshoe. Horseshoe is nailed firmly to the wall. Right, I'll get a hammer for that. Right, let's pop it. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. Says who? Says who? Says who? Says who? All right, let's just, we've got plenty of time. Don't wish to disturb the locals. Make a fucking, make an entrance, but I, I belong here. I belong here. I can't take the sign, nor do I want... Oh, I examine it then. The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Ah, cobbler's. A local dwelling. Right. I'm right-clicking now. I'm right-clicking now. Right. The cobbler's is... Right, keep going then. Oh. The building is in a dilapidated state. The Here we are. And furrow. The plowing furrow. Here we are. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. Just a wee thing. 
just a, just a wee thing. What do you think about me putting the ambient volume down? A touch. No? Just leave it. Just completely leave it. It feels like it needs to go down just a touch. Just a, just like there. Right, just, just there. Right, the music. Just a touch. Right, I'm leaving, says Sub Judge. Music done, ambience was fine. Right. Here we go. Right, you. The man looks thoroughly inebriated. Shall we say? Hello there. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? I'm heading to the plough and farrow. Furrow, get out of the way, sir, you're drunk. What are you doing out in this weather? Middle one. Get out of the way, sir, you're drunk. Hold on now, we've only just met. Why don't we get to know each other? <laughs> I'd rather not. Oh, a feisty one. You'll fit in around here, lass. <laughs> Give us a kiss now, won't you? Check it. Check it. We're seen through her eyes. We're seen through her eyes. You don't get that in the classics. This is an upgrade. Bevan Crazy Legs thanks for the sub. Can I get a shout out to Humphrey and Angus, my bulldogs from Twitch's oldest streamer. Humphrey and Angus, good dogs. Humor him, it usually works with men. Slap him. I've no time for this deflect question. Perhaps he's married. Um, give a slap. How dare you! Fucking yes! Wench! Bag doing and everything! Buffoon! Yes! Bag doing and everything! Kiss, I hold on we sit, I'm just gonna put my, my bag down there. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Alright. Let's go straight to it then. Hi there. The innkeeper is a serious looking man. Oh, stay in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? Uh, a room. Um Leonard what was Leonard's shoulder again? What was that? Fuck it, there. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. The gay died. If you would like to come and have a little... Aye, the person who invited me. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. I shall. Aye, tis not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? A fair price. Chekhov's pink plate. Oh, you're looking at that one up there and going, hmm, I need a plate that I can hide in this strawberry blancmange hmm but the blue ones are very easy to spot I want my strawberry angel delight to be the same colour as my plate mummy hmm the child doesn't like the blue plate angel delight I never had that. What was that anyway? What was it? 
How did you prepare it? I remember seeing it on the telly. I mean, look at that, look. I remember seeing it, it was just like fucking foam, shite mousse. I think Lynn said she had it when she was younger. And, um... It's just that sort of like you get fucking... Was it, was it macaroni cheese or cheesy pasta? Cheesy pasta, certain types of food. Fucking junk sort of shit you got when you're younger. Cheesy pasta. And, um... Who's that? Was that Kraft? I fucking love that. And, um... And uh, that was that was a kind of dessert. And I remember seeing that in adverts, and I think I asked my mom once, and never got it. So I just always thought, oh, this is for people who have got a bit of money. Speedwagon, thanks for the sub. House of Fraser, thanks for the sub. Six months, what a day, new badge too quickly, and Lanzarote reading your autobiography. It's bloody brilliant. Recently just learnt that Italian singer, and then I released a song. In the seventies, with nonsensical lyrics to sound like an American English, to prove that Italians would just love any American song. It reached number one in Italy, France, Germany, Belgium, Ireland, Sweden. When you're doing a it right now, that song, that video, I got tweeted that yesterday. I have already played that. I told people about that about four years ago, five years ago. I should get the credit. I should get the credit. Glad you like the book, by the way. I, I can't remember how I spotted it, but I remember spotting it and it's like, oh fuck, what's this? I should have got the credit. Bodusky thinks it's up. Thank you very fucking much. It's going to continue forever. Cress up thinks it's up. Hey, bag of me, you daft. Happeth? 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 I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Um, well, well, we'll talk about that in a wee minute. Um, click. And then... This is payment for the room. There you go. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. Thomasina? No, there's an old name there. I've not heard that one for a while. Thomasina. Thomasina. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beaulieu tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Oh, Kenneth, you say? And is this young man... in the markets? A family and wife to make good husband. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Then up the stairs. Everything in one simple monthly payment. Just so you know where you are. It's that kind of, um, you can trust us accent, isn't it? You can trust us accent, Northern English. Anytime you need some extra money, top of your wages, you just come in and we'll just deal with that. One simple payment. All you need to do is do that. And a real low interest rate. Oh, that, 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 that. Na, 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 na. So you just know where you are. It's simple as that. And you get your money. And you can just get on with your life. Right. Room number two. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. Thank you. Let's go. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. Let's go, Mr. Shoulder. 
Right, let's go. So I'll speak to everybody else later. Plenty of time. This shall do nicely. Nice room. Time to change into something more comfortable. Bar done. Excuse me, sorry. What's the Wi-Fi password? I tried the, the one in the kind of booklet thing, but it's no... Very nice, very nice. Ah, <sighs> much better. Right, let's get into it now. Very good. Escape Eat Cake Fix a Sub. One month for every spider you've probably swallowed this year. Spiders keep away from me. Spiders know I'm alright. They, they don't, they've got no business in my mouth. They that to people they don't like. Nora's Day and World Singer thinks the subs. You're welcome, thank you. Grits, greats, thanks the sub. You decrepit looking shadow of a man. Love spending my mornings wondering why I've spent so much time here. Not long the old man, peace No long now for you. I'm very healthy. Bud Dusky, thanks again, thanks the sub. Thanks again. Right, so I freshened up. Um, you know what? Let's just, you know what today? Let's barter on with it. And see if, see if we've got to beat somebody and they're like, oh, oh, you haven't got a blue plate. I'm not going to speak to you unless you have a blue plate taken from your room. I'll come back and get that plate. Right? A rather miserable looking fellow. That might be him. Might be him. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Are oh, we game of Three Men's Morris? Let's go. Good afternoon, sir. Note for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's note for you here, lass. No, you didn't. You just said note for you here. You didn't say that whole thing. You're a liar. You just said note for you here. Now you're saying you said, there's an out for you here, lass. You did not say lass. You're a liar. Be on your way. Charming. Charmed, I'm sure. Right, um, let's speak to this cunt again. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. I didn't ask. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate. All right. Most adequate. Excellent. Uh, so, Leonard Shoulder, is he here yet? Did you, have you seen him? Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. Uh, anything you can tell me about him? I, I sorry, what's the Wi-Fi password? What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Oh. Have you now? I have. Mm-hmm. And? You found yourself an admirer. Why don't you put it away, mate? Right? You're going to knock that fucking... What do you call that? You're going to knock that barrier. You're going to put a fucking hole right in it. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard, then? Uh, tell the truth. I've nothing out. Uh, lie, can he be trusted? I'm going to tell the truth. Well, if you must know... I am what some people call a barrow digger. A barrow digger? Never heard of that. Is that a city thing? A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with Tumuli? Afraid not. Tum you what? I'm familiar with my tummy when it's dinner time and I say to the wife, Oh, it's for dinner tonight, sweetheart. I hope it's not meat and two veg like yesterday. Don't like the same thing. And she says, you bloody make it yourself then. I say, all right, point taken. Point taken. 
Sparrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. Right. A profoundly interesting subject. If you say so. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh yeah, I've seen what I've seen one of them. Oh I, you're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh aye, very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? Well... He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow, you say? I'm familiar with Hobbs. I didn't know that's what you were talking about to begin with. You got no business being there, lass. There's nothing here for you. Nout! Nout! I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Nout! What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. Good, good. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. Well, I'm looking forward to it anyway. But St Edmund's Church is a fine building. Worth a visit. Nout! Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass. But I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village. Right, so me and Lynn were watching this thing about uh, Broadmoor. And she said Broad Broadmoor. Well, we watched that thing about Broad. We watched another episode of that thing about Broadmoor. I said it's no Broadmoor. It's Broadmoor. She says Broadmoor. Uh, Broadmoor. M O. What is that? They basically say more. I said I, that's because that's how they pronounce it. That's how the English in the program pronounce Moor. That's how they pronounce Moor and Moor. Stay off the moors. And then if you said... If you said to them, I'm looking... I'm looking for more moors. Are there more moors? They would say, no, there's not more moors. More moors. They don't say one different for the other. They say more and more. More and more. Whereas I would say more and more. So it's broad and more. Lazy Annie thinks the sub. If you say thanks to the prime sub, you're uh, old. Well, I didn't say it. I was quoting you. I didn't really say it. Super Dingler thinks that the sub. Thank you very much. DV, DV, get DVD back on. It's uninstalled, but I will get back into it. Petro Coral, Tony Pizza thinks the sub. You're welcome. Nourishment as the pattern drought continues the longest. Kiki Chunt thinks the bits. It's not grave robbery, it's more post mortem burial site tax. Imagine she said it's all wee jokey things like that. You're just fucking cringing. Sing a bell, UK. And Dooley, Soul Chicken, how do you rate? We, thanks to subs. We get it and we have listened as part of for backing down. If you're talking about that whole fucking Tory tax thing, I, I just, I, I don't, there's, I, I'm not, I, I, I'm absolutely, utterly tuned out for a lot of it. I'm tuned out for a lot of it. I was ready to retweet, I was ready, right, hold on. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? 
I enjoy nothing more than See ya. the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a barrow digger too, eh? Wait. N See this? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. The music needs to get turned down. Because I've heard this loop. Does he still come with you now on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. No more joy. He walks in a bed factory. <laughs> Excuse me. Just. Uh, it's a wee joke, it's not like bit of a set I mean bit bound to beds, like bound to his job, you know, like kinda of chained to his job, if you know what I mean. I don't seem to follow you, you. Does every is everyone's patter that that shite down south? Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Oh Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Oh fuck him. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. Good for you. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger well, days. I don't know what that is. Saved up my coin and bought this place. Oh, well done, you. It's a fine inn. Well, we don't know that yet. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. All right, start then. As you were. As she will. Fucking Liam Gallagher here. Um, you know, the music just, well, nothing much is happening but the music. Let's get it done a wee bit. Let's get it done just a wee touch. Dun. Dun. Ali Baba thinks it's up. Hear you, your baldy wank. What's with this boring 16 bit pish? Ha 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 ha. Baldy wank, ha 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 ha. What's the fucking numbers after your name? As and go fix the sub. Alibaba two four six eight. Oh, oh, actually, it's two four six eight. That's all right. That's fine. I thought it's just like random numbers, just like pish. That's good. That's good. Actually, that's good. Part good part of your name. Two four six eight. As and go fix it. Thanks again. I uh, heard this book again, Madison. Maybe, maybe no. Sounds familiar. Maybe somebody might have recommended it recently. Rhinoceros thinks the sub. Thank you very much. Half six, you can enjoy it like it's 2020. Oh, again, fucking yes. Des and uh, NPC Hammer thinks the sub's a bits. What's this elevate thing about then? Forgive me if you. Oh, elevated chat. I don't think I can see it in OBS yet. If you did an elevated chat thing, it stays at the top of the screen for a certain amount of time. I don't fucking see it though. So I kind of see it here. Everybody else sees it. I kind of see it in OBS. I'd have to open up fucking Twitch. I, I was going to fucking... Somebody had tweeted that the leader of the Scottish Conservatives, whatever the fuck he... he that, that, the cunt, the fucking... That cunt. Uh, saying the UK government has cut tax to superpower the economy. When will the Scottish government... And then people are tweeting about how they've now back done. And I was ready to retweet it. I was ready to say something. I was like, oh, what's the point? What's the point? I retweet it and what? I quote retweet it and I had my wee funny wee thing to it. What? What have I done? Somebody who was going to vote for the fucking Tories knew, isn't he? Because I did my wee remark. My plane to the gallery. What, what, what is it? What am I doing? Moaning? Just saying this is shite, isn't it? Everybody, ain't this shite in case you didn't know. So that's why I just sort of avoid, avoid, avoid all that. I go to say something and I just go, leave it, leave it, leave it. There's other people who go on about stuff like that. That's what they do. That's their thing. Leave them to it. You, day pictures of yourself if you're in a cycle with a, with a funny face or, or something. That's what you do. That's what you provide to the world. Nick cards not just something to do that, just because I felt like it. Right, let's see. No. Who are you? Fine exemplar of inebriation. Right, so you've never had a, a, a wee bit too much wine. No? You're perfect. 
they are engaged in an intense discussion. I'll leave them to you. Ah, 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 wait, wait, who's you? A curmudgeonly looking old fellow. I speak to him. Hello, sir. Hi. It's me, everybody. All right. The reason why I'm surprised... That's me, that's me doing the voice acting there. The reason why I, I felt I, I sounded surprised is they didn't tell me what character I was going to be. This is exciting for me. Here we go. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. No, it doesn't sound like me. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. Eh, uh, Leonard Shoulder, please. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? that be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? No, Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. Uh, I'm going to end that conversation. I'm Cyril. Then he ask. Then he ask. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Then he ask. Cyril. Terra, lass. Terra. I do not need to use the lavatory. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. I fuck a lot of them. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. Prime. Um. Like, fuck a lot of them then. Fuck them all. Hmm. I don't know if I should leave. I've, I'm here to meet. Wait here for Mr. Shoulder. There we are. Wait here? What do you want me to do? Fucking speak to every cunt. Get to fuck. Wait. I'm going back up to my room. Going back to my room. Jug of water and a bowl. This may come in handy. Oh really? I've just taken a jug of water. There is. Handkerchief, keys, my key, money. Uh, I said I call, I call coins keys. That's it. My goner. To do menu. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, good. Meet Mr. Shoulder to discuss Hobbs Barrow. I've been invited to Bewley by a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. He proposes an excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. Wait for Mr. Shoulder to arrive. I've some time to spare. It's a fine opportunity to converse with the locals. Thank you very much, devs. I love a good fucking to-do list. Thank you very much. Let's have a look in the chest one. my case in there. A right. box within a box. Nice one, well said. Let's get a matchbox. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. Very nice, I'll take them. I'll take them. Got myself There's one match left though. Oh, make it use make it make it count. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Right. Alright. Move that painting. I don't want to take the painting with me. Right. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. You hear that? Moor. And if she was to say moor as in like the opposite of less, it would sound the exact same. It would sound the exact same. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go and converse. Uh, let's, let's chat with this fucking this pal. Hello, sir. What? Oof. I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Guy doesn't exist. Hello, miss. What do you want? I. Bugger off. Oof. Right. And if I chatted with you, dickhead. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go chat with um, Algin. Fully. Hello again, sir. Hello. Oh, uh... My name is Thomasina Bateman. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ha! 
You're brave coming in here, all on your own. He seems like Charlie Chuck. I'm a grown woman. Is it Charlie Chuck? Charlie Chuck? Mark Donkey and all that. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station. Yeah, had the wind one about the train. Fuel is gonna be I'm a professional streamer. Like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? This is our town, our land. Hey. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? What can you tell me about Bewley? That's the name of this place. We're a proud community. What proud? What the fuck does that mean? I've lived here my whole life. I can drop a fucking bomb on it. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. Tara, lass. Tara. Tara. This shoulder should really be here by. Tara. Tara, -ra boom, do you? I'll sit down and wait. There we go. I've spoken with everybody. I've completed objectives to get to the cutscene. Tara, -ra boom, do you? Here we go. Where on earth is he? Doesn't exist. What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Doesn't exist. Oh, drunk guy. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologise for earlier. Cunt's fucking wrecked, it's him. I deserve that slap. I'm sorry for my behaviour. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? He's drunk. He doesn't exist. Remember, drunk. Remember. My name is Arthur. Thomasina Bateman. I fucking right. He's Arthur. Right. I I, I pressed the button to to flip between my scenes here to, for the zooming in with my camera, and I accidentally skipped forward. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Perhaps you know the gentleman. Mr. Leonard Shoulder. What? Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. Right, okay. One ale coming right up, he might have some useful information. I really don't think you need another. The man is a liability. Must I really buy you a drink for this information? The cheek of some people. Um oh, I get my drink. One ale coming right up. Get him fucking wrecked. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about old Leonard's shoulder. Right, let's go. Let's go. How can I help you? Order a drink. Drink of your finest ale, Mr. Finest. None of no that shit in the left, that one there. A pint. There we are. Two pence, please. Ho 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 ho. They were the days, eh? Two pence for a pint. They were the days. Thank you. Right, let's go. This was the last of my money. Uh, Kenneth you... will be here tomorrow with more funds. Th that's right, Kenneth, the assistant. Right, let's go. No doubt I'll be... I'm trying to say pulling the heat off, but... I mean, no doubt I'll be pulling that or moving that and touching that. Let's check out that plate, hold on. Decorative plate. This one depicts a bull. Right. That one? A decorative plate depicting an eagle. Look. A decorative plate. This one depicts a dog. A decorative plate depicting a bear. Keep that in mind, everybody. These ones up here. There's another one at the side. Right, let's go and talk to a loser. Loser. Please, Miss Bateman. An ale to wet me whistle. But then I'll get it. Then I'll tell you all... Right. I thought I got it. What's the fucking paint? 
That's the pint. Nice folks. Oh, I've got it. I've got it on me. Okay, asshole. There you are. Here you are, Arthur. Oh, I, th I thought she was the asshole. Thanking you. Thank you kindly. In the hatch. Oh, that hits the spot that does, lass. Now then. Oh, well. Old Len. Leonard Shaw. <laughs> And yet. Arthur? And yet. Mr. Tillett? One, one mouthful. Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. You're an enabler. And you're actually a worse person than him. He's got a problem. He's got an addiction. You don't. You gave him that. Right, pick his fucking pockets, man. Mr. Tillett? He's not dead. Just very drunk. I would still like to hear what he has to say about Mr. Shoulder. Pick his pockets, man. After one drink too many, Arthur Tillett... Right, he's passed out. Uh, right. Well, that's me finished with you. Oh! Let's wake him up with the water! Fucking yes! Oh, what the hell was that for? The game has begun. I used something that I picked up on him. Fucking right, so now I've got to go down here covering that old guy there. I've got to go down there covering him. This will, I will always, I'll be covering Cyril. Right. You passed out, Mr. Tillett. There you go, we bought a wall. Matt Payton, thanks for the bits. I sent in a voice edition for this game for a giggle. I'm not from Yorkshire, though, so I don't think my watered down Scouse accent, which is typical of the Isle of Man, was good enough. I'm friends with Dave, the founder of Widget Eye Games, though, on Facebook, would be good to get him in the chat. You're making up the whole fucking thing, Matt. You're an absolute liar. Ajak and Snedneg and Hail the Unit. Thanks for subs. Thank you very fucking much. Blip Blop let the... Uh, in Tokyo. Thanks for the subs. Liar. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard's shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. He's not coming back. This man is unbelievable. I'm making for tip piss. That's it, he's off. It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Everything's all dark. They look, looks all dark. Miss Bateman. Uh huh. My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. So dark. You'll have to use the gents. Lovely. Right. There we go. Mr. Tillett. Fucking fire. Uh, let's check this one. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? <coughs> Mr. Tillett, are you in there? It's a cat! He's a familiar. Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. He's a witch. He's familiar. Uh, 
Um, a demon supposedly attending and obeying a witch, often said to assume the form of an animal. Her familiars were her two little griffins that nested in her skirts. There you go. A witch's familiar. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to high heaven. The fucking cat you're talking about. The mangy thing is fast asleep. Right, have a look in, in the bog then. Fast asleep. You'd rather not touch it. It looks like the towel has not been washed in months. Have we got another point and click uh, puzzle? The mirror is coated in a thick layer of grime. Right, well, let's fucking go this way then. Would you like me to do something? With it? I let's... would rather not get any closer. Right. I would rather... Would you like me to pick up the cat but we can't right now because I've got to get gloves or something? Hmm, I'm not touching that. Not with my clean hands. The door opens a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. Blocked, you say? I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Master Tilly? Arthur, are you out there? Arthur. Art? Arte? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. Let's investigate then. Right. Uh, right. I can't reach the window from down here. Hmm. If only I could get up there using something. Right, let's go then. Hmm, I don't, I can't walk past the cat. It's too dirty. Right, I'll tell you what it is. We've got a... How can I help you? Uh, it's about the, the toilet door. There's a door to the outside in the gents' lavatories. Why is it bolted? That door doesn't even have a lock. So you didn't lock the door? I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. <laughs> I get it. It's not fucking funny. I'm having a really bad time. That sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. Right, let's go back out, man. Let's get out, man. We can actually leave now. We can actually leave now. Window box. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. Aha! The Plough and Furrow Inn. LG. Tommy, who is... Thanks for the sub. Would you rather every time you sneeze, time rewinds five minutes? Or every time you fart, you launched a few feet into there. The the time thing, obviously. What is fucking casino and sneeze? Abraxas Amor, Ron's McDonald, thinks the subs and bits. Glad to hear it, thank you very fucking much. Glad you like the book, the show and the streams. El Rodo thinks they're the bits. I'll point and click you in a minute. You'd be caught in the loop? No, wouldn't you? Because I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it again. Do you think in Back to the Future he went back and did the exact same stuff he did first time around? Could he? Because he wasn't even born yet. Spectral Pet and Digmore. Or Digmore. More. Marsh, he thinks the subs. Any rumour flying around? The, the best. where I am to meet Mr. Shoulder. That's right. The best part of my day is seeing you smile. Excuse me, sir. Hey! Oh! A glove, everybody! A glove! There you go! There's a fucking glove! Give me that. A pearly white gent's glove. Pick it up! It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. Put it on! Right, it Seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. Well, let's check out a fucking cat now! Barrels. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Right, move it then. Mr. Tillett. Why would he have done that? Right, go fix it then. Right. Right. Right, as the cat. Mr. Tillett leave, then block the door behind him. Right. No. Right. Right now. Something strange is going on here. 
Right, no, it's dead. Who's that old chap I saw outside the alley? He headed eastward. Maybe I could catch up with him and ask him if he saw Mr. Tillett. Good idea, but not a priority. Right. We are going to use this glove with that cat. I don't wish to give that away. No, no, no. I'm not saying gate to the cat. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to... Right, all right, in. Use the glove. Will you... All right, use it. Fine white glove. I found it in the alleyway behind the plough and furrow. Right. I want you... to wear that glove. A fine... I found it in the... Right, it's, not, it's, it's just not how it works, isn't it? No? That's not how it works. Try to go. Just, just know that you're a bit slightly closer. I'm not sure they would be interested. Right. Right, the cat, the cat can wait. The cat can wait. Let's catch up with this mystery guy. Sturdy looking barrels, no doubt used to store ale. Right, get up on them, climb there. I suspect the barrels are empty, otherwise the locals will be rolling them into their cellars. Right, we'll have a look inside. I suspect the... Right, can you get up? Can you get up? Climb. The window is well out of reach. Or is it? A hitching post. I could tether a horse here if I had one. If I had one. Right. Let's go this way. There's old guy! Did you see him? Let's go. Keep going. The old man has disappeared into the darkness. No, he's not cool. I best turn back to the. No, no, no. Master. I don't wish to go knocking door to door. You don't wish to, but you must. You must. Right. Right. Okay, okay. Wait, I'll be look. I'll be look here. All right. All right, let's go back in. Hello, cat. Let me look at that glove again. A fine white glove, gent style. I right. found it in the alleyway behind. That's right. Hmm. Ah! Oh, I didn't mean that. That's need to hear. Same gentleman, please. Last orders. I should get some sleep. You start finishing up your drinks, please, and move outside! Finding the missing men of Beaulieu shall have to wait for tomorrow. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Alright, that's a male. That's a cunt there, that's a male. Morning, sir. That's a male. That'll be him there. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. Oh, well, let's go then. Go to bed, I'm tired, not yet. Not perhaps a little time in front of the fire. And get a shot. There you go, that's nice. Right. Kenneth will be Let's go then. Yes, I must get some I shall track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. You should have you should know it's a made up Aye. Yes? Off to bed. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulders let me down. The rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Bewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. She's fucking wrote the letter to herself. And she, you know, she's just, there's no fucking Mr. Fucking Shudder. She sent a letter to herself and she's came here. Nobody's heard it. The drunk guy says, I've heard him because he's drunk and he's wanting a drink. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. How'd you explain everybody that acting? Because there's a red herring. Can of see, but I'm in bed there, right, right there. 
おおイエーイおのおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおCan I get a shout from a flatmate who has COVID and could use the pick me up cheers? To your flatmate, get well soon, really rip the arse out it and get shrines here. Bolted from the inside, just as I left it last night. To run a bit daft for you. Spendo Genzo thinks that the bits. You're welcome to the ha-has. I'm really enjoying the game. Dirty Mullet thanks for the bits. Thank you very fucking much. I'm really enjoying it. Bolted from the inside just as I left it last night. Mm -mm. Hmm. Cats are definitely a witch. He's familiar. Inspected. I must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat. I must say I'm relieved. Right then. Let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard shoulder. There is no Leonard shoulder. It's L short for L shoulder. L dot shoulder. Left sh fucking shoulder, and if you look at your left shoulder, you will see you have tattooed there that you've got a dead short memory, memento style, and it says you have made up Leonard's shoulder. There is no Hobbs Barrow, nor that. I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow. I also wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett. These are all mysteries. Let me check out my, my to-do list. Okay, okay. Very good. Right, no spoilers, please. A bowl? I wish to carry the bowl around. Aye, same here. I just thought I'd mention it. Just thought I'd mention it. Candlestick, drawers, they're jammed. A decorative plate depicting a goat. A goat, you say? Let's get that. Wish to take it. All right, then. All right, let's get it here. I, I, not, not, I couldn't get that. Morning, Mr. Top of the wardrobe thing, I couldn't get it. Good day, Stanley. Did you sleep well, Miss Bateman? Um, I saw a fucking cat. Not really. I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Mm -hmm. Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr. Tillett. You know, like a wit like he's turned into a cat. Like he could turn into a uh, turn into a cat. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. That'll be it. That'll be it. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Bib. I know made a bit of fucking mind than you. I'm happy to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. Oh, fucking crisp. You're balded. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Okay. Oh, I. What does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. Hmm. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items. Right. Is it safe to do such a thing? My equipment is valuable. That sounds capital. Thank you. Uh, is it safe? Is it safe to do such a thing? I can assure you the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I meant, could somebody visiting, like me, steal it? 
knowing how trusting you are because everybody here is so decent. That's not what I... Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. Thank you. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. All right. Miss Bateman? Uh-huh. You're making a bit of habit out of this. Could you could we finish off the conversation? Let me walk because I just I just know it's coming. I just I just know that when I get to the door, you're gonna get a Columbo fucking Yes? I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. Mm-hmm. I've been tossing and turning all night. Well, I bet bit. you have. I feel rotten, I really do. Well. What on earth are you talking about? You should pace yourself. As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. Uh-huh. And, well, I have not been honest with you, lass. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. Oh. You do? I do. Many here do. We don't like to talk about it, you see. You see, we're a simple people, a superstitious people. A few years ago, something happened that... We just couldn't explain. A lot of people, through lack of explanation, turned to the, the world of superstition and, and witchcraft and trying to explain all these things with folklore and, and mythology, you see. Do you follow me so far? You do, you do. Now, 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 where was I? Yes, uh, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. You have a great day now, you hear? There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. You would say that? Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of too. He does it right. He, do he does it right? What did I mean to say there? I meant to say he doesn't exist, but why would I say right? He doesn't... Why would I say that? He doesn't right! Old? I maybe didn't get, I didn't get a good night's sleep or something. He doesn't right! Me, Lyles, ask me to come here. Just for me, just to do... Just to, to turn up, to no turn up. You know? Are you alright, Thomasina? What's that name again? I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. Nah, nah, you, 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 you girls don't go wanna go messing around with some old house. Hold on, give me a second there. Texas Chainsaw. Chain Space Saw from 1974. Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I don't know, what would you call it? Gas Station? No. Oh, it's there. There. How long's that? You can You can go there. Oh wait, this is... You can stay there. Right, hold on. Na, 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 na. Place film was... No. Right, that's not what I want. Um, come on, where is it? Do I have to go to scene? Careful, watch with the gore. Scene. Nope. Nope. New one. Nope. Yeah, movie mistakes. No, yeah, I'm fucking bastard. You. Ugh, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Careful, you shouldn't be headings. Right. There was somebody holding a prop head. A prop head there. Is no thanks to the sub. Beneath the headphones, thanks to the subs and bits. Thank you very much. How's Bobby? Did she have a good weekend? She had a fucking amazing weekend. Amazing. She's doing amazing. She's downstairs just chilling out and she'll be exactly where I last saw her. Sleeping away. Toddy thinks the sub. 
Thank you very much. Where's the music in the game? Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? Liar. I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. You don't. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. Well, you must. You lied to me and you must make amends. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. A uh, woman of science! As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. You see, you live here. You've always lived here. But we thought we'd go through with this to try and see if you could get this nonsense out your system if we just played along. Seek out Mr. Shoulder. We wrote, we wrote it on your shoulder, you see. It's there in felt tip. You're making this up, you see. That's what we wrote. You're making it. You wrote it, remember. You wrote the new spoilers, please. Kevin, thanks for the sub. All the best, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Speech journalism has gone very well. I'm really enjoying it. Toddy, thanks for the sub. I like the wee animation, you know, the cat thing, and then her turning in the bed. Stuff you just want to get in a, an authentic point and fucking click for yesteryear. You know, just a kind of... That just seems kind of uh, weird. I like it. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. Right. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Ah. Ah. Precisely. Right. A man not to be trusted. Right. Where is Hobbs Barrow? Because I'm gone now. I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. I beg your fucking pardon? I just said I swear my fucking ma's grave. We we fucking what are you saying? Are you saying I didn't love my ma? The moors are vast, lass. I'd tend not to go wandering out there. A grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? Yes. Uh can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. I just keep to myself these days, you know. Ever since lockdown, I got quite used to it. After it, everyone was saying, Hey, hey, lockdown's finished. Do you want to go out? I don't want to go out. What do you want to do? Want to do now? Don't want to go out. Don't want to do now. He only comes in here to collect his post. Leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. And certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. Oh, As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. But, you see the city folk that came before, they said they'd found oil and they're going to make us all rich. It's, it's just a big joke. It's local teenagers from the city. Taking the piss. They came round with them, 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 them smartphones. Saying, oh, why'd you, why'd you live in the fucking past? Snobby thinks the bits. Quite like this game, happy you're playing something small. Aye, this is, aye, this is what I'm into. I'm into this. I like survival games. A day. But, I mean, it was a bit too much. A bit too many survival games. Too, too quickly. Too much, too soon. Ravage Rumble thinks the sub. I'm running 56 miles this Saturday for Glasgow Edinburgh. What are some things I can do to pass the time while I'm out and about? And I know, I know you're maybe doing it as some, part, some sort of charity thing, but don't do it. People were not meant to run 56 miles. It is bad for your heart, bad for your knees, bad for your back, bad for your shins, bad for your thigh bone, bad for your foot. Bone, your ankle bone, your shin bone, your knee bone, your thigh bone. Let me just tell you all the things it's bad for. Both the disconnected.
Disconnect them bones. Disconnect them. Get a bones fucking disconnected. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. What th some things I can do to pass the time while I'm out and about. Uh, just got to get, get music on. Make sure you get your whatever you lost your phone and all that charged up. Put a spare battery. Don't speak to anybody. They'll just put you off. They'll just annoy you. They'll make you want to die. Right, I have to go. I have to go and speak to people. Let's go. Wait. Oh look. It seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Yeah. Is there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash. Or look, look, there's a guy there. You just kind of see it. All of it. Hogwash, all of it. I have a few hours until Kenneth arrives. Right, my assistant, my, my I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. Right, let's go then. Let's cunt. Map unlocked, press M. Oh, look at this. Look, railway station. Wait a minute. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like if I just click on that. If I just click on that. Oh. Ah, just jump straight there. Oh, there's this cunt here. Is that is that the? That's Arthur. Mister Tillett. Where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plough and Furrow. Fucking steamer. Oh, Miss Bateman. Yes. I was blind drunk last night and woke up with a stinking headache. Are you a cat? Or have you got the ability to turn into a cat? Tell the truth, swear on your mother's grave. You still smell like a brewery. I'm sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. Explain yourself. You went to the toilet and you didn't come back. Explain. I searched everywhere for you. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Mm -hmm. And it's all a blur. Drugged. I woke up in my bed this morning with my wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. Sour, do you remember drinking milk out of a saucer anywhere? Think carefully. Did you have the taste of a mouse in your mouth? A mouse? Or some other vermin? About last night. Uh, I so what are you going to tell me about Leonard uh, Shudder? What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? Who? Leonard Shoulder. He was a he's a lion. You told me you knew him. They're all at it. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink. Mm -hmm, which I did. Which I did. Yes. So what were you going to tell me? I. Uh... Say something. Your mouth's moving. Oh, I don't really know the old bugger. But you said you did. Oh, I. Look in. I've got a problem. Uh, I admit it. I've got a problem. I've tried to. I've tried to get help. I've tried to get help. I don't know. I can't stop. I want to stop up. I can't. Do. No, no. I, I know not about him. Nouts about. No, note about Leonard's shoulder. Liar. I don't believe you, you're hiding something. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. Or should I say, Mr. T. For you are French? Yes? You moved here with a forged passport, yes? You were posted... In the Foreign Legion garrison in the Second World War, 1942, were you not? Deserted your post right away here, correct? And it was to hide this secret. 
You fabricated the story of this learned shoulder. Not aware that shoulder is an actual English word for that bit there of your arm. Admit it and repent, Mr. T.A. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink in me. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from lying to you? I just wanted another drink. Just wind me a drink in. Wind me a drink and that'll be my last. I swear to you. I swear to you. One more drink, and that's my last, I swear. And I will never drink again. One more, one more drink. This should be my last one, please. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. I. I don't remember out. Out? Hmm. About last night. Wait. You really don't remember where you went last night? As I say, it's all a blur. I remember needing a piss. Then... nothing. Could you watch your language, please? Now, it's funny... Because... You said blur, and the person behind the bar said as you were, and he speaks like Liam Gallagher from Oasis, and you said blur, as in a band blur, and this is kind of like country and country houses. Tell me, what was your favourite during the big battle between blur and Oasis back in 1995? Was it? Country House or... Ninety-six? What was it? Roll, roll with it. Blah, oasis, uh, blah, oasis battle. Uh, accept Country House and Roll With It and Country House release I August 1995 they got, and you it was 95 there we are no nonsense, Northerners versus the pretentious university educated hipster Southerners. Some fucking eyebrows, eh? Hey, 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 our kid. Hey, our kid. I mean, they don't, they don't say our kid is a threat. Hey, our kid. Hey. Hey, soft lads. Hey, come on, soft lads. Don't be like that. Soft lads. Is it like that? Hey, come on, soft lads. Conrad, who thinks the sub? Happy birthday to your sister Kendra in Sweden. We are best Swedish accent. Um, hello, Kendra. Um, oh, um, happy birthday, happy birthday, boy, oh, in Sweden. Thank you very much. Dice man, thanks for the turn of bits. Uh, thanks again, Jesse. Thanks for the sub. 
26 months of this miserable shite, lovely stuff. Glad, to, glad, you, glad you're hating it. And basics your sub, shove my prime sub in your cake hole. Fup duck and agent, thanks to the subs, thank you very much. Hey, bag um, I was off me fucking tits. Well, you must have missed me when I came out. I did not. I even went to the gents' toilets to find you. Oh, I a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, a sight for sore eyes. Remember that? Yeah, a sight for sore eyes. And people, I. It was. I checked everywhere, and you were nowhere to be found. Hey, so fuck! Jesus fucking Christ! He went out the fucking back door, he can't remember he was drunk. He's a fucking alcoholic, right? The cunt's got a fucking problem. The back door leading to the alleyway was blocked from the outside. Oh, I? Yes. You must have exited through that door, Mr. Tillett. But you just said it were blocked. I mean, after you left. You dunce. There must be an explanation. My mind has drawn a blank. Why was the door blocked? I can't bloody remember. I was drunk. How many times do I have to say? I twer tit drunk. Did you block it? I told you I don't remember. Do you not? Are you drunk? You can't remember me telling you. I can't bloody remember. I've nought to say because I remember nought. Nought! Nought taken out! Hmm. And stop bloody homing! Home, home, home! It's all you bloody do! You sound like a bloody beehive! I wish you'd bloody behave! I'm assuming you don't know where Mr. Shoulder lives, then. Sorry, Miss Bateman. I don't know nout about Leonard Shoulder. Nout! That's enough! How's your headache faring? It feels like a steam engine is driving full pelt in a circle around me skull. Be sure to drink plenty of water, Mr. Tillett. Hydrate. We're now taken out. We're now taken out. What is that? What I'd felt was that. Aye, aye. I'll survive. Hovis. Hovis. We're now taken out. Axel. Ain't now better. Baller boy. I ate that duck. He's not a duck. Ain't right, that duck? Hovis note taken out. Oh, oh, it's not doing it. It's not searching. I've crashed it. I can't do it. YouTube's like that. That, I don't know it. On it, I'm sorry, I don't. Click on that. All right, close the whole thing. Open that up. Say that. Oh. Something's gone on. Hovis. Note. Taken out. Um, there's an advert there. Allison's. Now here is a short recitation about a man who... Oh, it's him! Fame by it's the Hovis. Special flower. Tom it's Brian Glover. Is it Brian Glover? That's his name. That was his name for just 
of the Industrial Revolution, all but he were for bread white as snow. They thought it were purer than all. He is the guy that I think about when I think about that accent. No, the white bread's all right, that I'll grant you. But you've taken away some of clout. All meal's better off. That's enough! People, because it's bread that's had nout taken out. Nout? Now, over hundred years Take ago, it out. it's been proved beyond reasonable doubt. To a town since thoughts that were proper, and bread's better. We now take out. We now take out. We now take it out. American werewolf. That's enough. It'll change. It'll. That's enough. Go. Go. I'm gonna be with you. There he is. We now take it out. You just can't let them go. Go. Now. We're now taken out. Ding dong. Uh, thanks to sub. Barletter boy. Thanks again. I ate that duck. <laughs> G-Funk. Thanks to sub. Could you explain the difference between Scottish, Scotch and Scots? Um, I think Scottish is... Scottish. Scotch. I think is only whiskey. And Scots is either the plural of someday for Scotland or also the language. Which is a kind of... I don't know. What would that be then? Rabbi Burns and maybe something related to the way I speak. Maybe in some way. I don't know. I don't really know what Scots is. Exactly, and I'm Scottish. Don't know if it's a language, a dialect. Can I tell you? Thomas Donvey, thanks for sub. Experiments, thanks for gifting me ten fucking subs. Thank you very much. I hate that duck. Sam Dines, thanks for sub. Man, I love the makers of this Twitch stream. Dice Man, thanks for the bits. Can I get a special birthday message from my favourite silly sausage? Happy birthday, you're the silliest sausage. Right. So, you work here? Do you fucking think? Aye, Bewley's station master at your service. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that some of the locals are not too happy about this new station. Aye, I'd go as far as saying the whole village. Right, so you don't like you don't want people coming in, visiting, bringing tourism in and money. You don't like that, right? Okay. How long has the station been open okay. for? About three months. We're on the Midland railway line. This employment's been a saviour for me. Right, so it's been good for you. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. It's worth the occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. What does a station master do? A bit of this and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. Oh, as you wish. As, 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 you, as you wish. As you wear. My responsibilities here keep me on the straight and narrow. I'll tell you that much. A sense of duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here more regularly than you might think, lass. What makes you... All oh, right, pass. I pass through though. Pass through. Still be lonely. Farewell for now. Tara. All right. I think we've. I think I've spoken with him. Would you like a glove? Do you recognise this glove? Oh, that's right. The glove. The glove that was there when he left. Never seen it before in my life. Liar. Liar. Fucking liar. Cut! <laughs> right, let's walk. Let's no fast travel. Let's walk. Let's do we wander. Stays here then. I don't think anyone is home. You don't think, right? Make sure you know. You need to check, double check, triple check. And then elbow right through that fucking window. Bugger off! Ah, the unmistakable charm of old Cyril. 
Fucking go in there and set them on fire, man. Oh, cunt. Sorry. Uh, I, I can say that because I'm apparently old. So. Oh, look. Good day. Yes. Uh, introduce yourself. That means, like, me. It's saying to me, introduce yourself to him. But it'd be nice to go up to somebody and say, introduce yourself. That'd be good. People should start doing that. Hi there, introduce yourself. My name is Thomasina. Tell me what? George Crozier. Can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye. Born and bred. That's where my father's forge before mine. I didn't ask about your da. I didn't ask about your daft fucking stupid fucking da. Talk about you. You as daft as him. If I was to ask about your da, would he talk about his da? Does every cunt just talk about the fucking da's? Can I get any sense of any cunt in this whole place? How is business faring? I do an honest trade. The box got to stop somewhere. Somebody's got to say, you've asked about me, I'm going to talk about me. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. That's a loud dog. You let me know if you need out, made or mended. Out! I'll do you a fair price. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Say, yes, he's there. Say that. Oh, hi. Old Leonard. Uh huh. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lad? Because I want to know the answers to the things that I ask. If you don't want to do it, just say no more questions. Don't ask me questions because you're adding to the questions. Do you see? You're adding to the questions. I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Can't tell you out moors. That. He's a bit moor rather than more. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Right. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Well, this one's got a name. So you're you're wrong. This one's got a name. So you're wrong. Timbertown, 63 quid. If Fazlane got hit, would the blast get you or would it be the fall after? Probably the fall. Um, I think nukes these days can have a fireball the size of a fucking five miles <laughs> um, diameter. But then the blaster are in it. It would definitely get hit in some sort of way. I think, I think, I think the nukes these days are like a hundred times as powerful as Hiroshima. So, guys, I bet no. We Jenny, Victoria, Eki Grander thinks the subs. Uh, uh, I wouldn't make either of them uh, do anything. I'm a celeb, Eki Grander, because they don't deserve um, that kind of human, human sort of. Uh, that chance to look human. I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't do anything. I would just have them sit there, be quiet. If, if they told us, if they said, if they said, the nukes are coming, I just fucking skipped out there. If they said the nukes are coming, we've got half an hour, uh, um, we know for certain one's going to fall on Fazlane. I don't even know how to drive, but I'd be in the fucking motor if Lynn was in the boot or Daniel was in the boot, and I'd be driving towards Fazlane because I'd rather be right underneath the bastard and fucking thing when it drops uh, than deal with all that fallout shit. Right under it. Right under it like that, like fucking Shawshank Redemption, like that. Skin Saw thinks the sub. Dirty bassline or filthy guitar riff. Uh, dirty bassline, maybe. A corner, quote, visibly moulding, thinks the subs and bits. 
In the wake of nuclear fallout, can we be assured that the stream will continue in some capacity as our infrastructure collapses? Will there be a radio broadcast? Absolutely guaranteed. I'm not just here for myself. I'm here to serve. Gaz and I, but no thanks to subs. I will be serving the public. So don't worry about it. Right? If I survive, I'll be on pirate radio to provide banter and memes throughout the whole experience of your, your ears falling off and that kind of thing. Your lovely When the Wind Blows experience. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? Many a business. I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. Uh-huh. We heard. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. That's right. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. People just can't move, you know, I just... I need my own space. It's not just physical space and my mental space. I just need to see Nacon. I need to look around and not see another human being for... 500 metres, like, all in me. I prefer a quieter pace. Aye. Aye, yourself. When do market days run in Bewley? Ah! We haven't had market days here for a good few years now. We're hoping that the train would bring in some people, but that isn't the case. Just seems to be all noise for, for, for naught. All this noise for naught. Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How delightful. Who's yawning? Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be not to interest you. Nout! You hear me? Nout! I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Mate. Right. What is in there? What is a fossil? Let's have a look. Fantastic specimen. Oh, let's go and have a look then. Alas, it is not mine to take. Did I say take it? The blacksmith is right here. I've no need to go inside. Well, I know, but maybe have a wee look. It's Mr. Crozier's fall. Is that him yawning? What's that actually working on? The blacksmith is toiling away. Toiling away. There's that bucket. There's that cart. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. Perhaps. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. I don't. Be respectful. Let's go to this uh, stupid a church. Fine example of a church. Well, let's go here then. It's built in the Norman style. Let's go then. Who's this? Hello. Good day. Is that her? For the beginning? Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? Yes, I'd like to buy a cake. What kind of cakes do you have? What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely Bakewell puddings. Bakewell puddings? Kiss marriage of almond and jam. Well, pudding? I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell pudding. Well, actually, I've spoken to a lot of people who live here, and I've actually asked them about... Not just your Bakewell puddings, but about you and Nacon even knows that you exist. N they don't, they don't, they don't, like you're invisible to them. You could die tomorrow by the fucking milk bottles piling up in the doorstep and all that, and the, or the letters through the letterbox, you know, all that. Nacon would notice, Nacon would care. They would come and they would push in the empty milk bottle and they would set fire to the fucking env the envelopes, the letters hanging at your letterbox. And that's not me saying that it'd be nasty. That's them that said it. That's them that said it. They said to take the empty milk bottle, stick petrol in it, shove your fucking letters in, the, in there and go right through your fucking wind and gear cremation. That's nice, a free cremation. Like, there's no need for that. Nah, that's them who said that. That's them who said that. No me. Jack Sorts thanks to the sub. Broke my collarbone yesterday playing GAA. 
You keep me laughing through the pain, said Bones. What's that then? Football or something? Thanks for the sub, Pin Monsoon. Thanks for the sub. James Corden was right. You are a cunt. I saw there's some video describing why James Corden isn't a nice person or something like that. I'm telling you, I'm backing out now. And another thing, Ringo Starr cancelled some fucking concert because he's ill. He's ill. I'm not not to do with it. I'm backing it right now. Not to do with it. I think his paintings are amazing. Or digital art. Framework thinks the sub. Let's get the side of this barrel dynamited to get to the treasure. I just fucking just chuck good old cartoon steel sticks of dynamite and we'll, we'll get to it. How are you doing? And who is the Chung Connor? Thanks for the subs, thank you very thank you very much. Gaz, thanks for the sub, thanks again. Thank you very much. They are quite famous. Very famous. Do you want do you want to be famous? Do you, I can I can put you in the fucking the newspapers and the more if you like. Alas, I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. Well, you can't take it away. Can I take it away, yeah? You can't you take it away, yeah? Was that? Is that a threat? Maybe. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot the show corrupt. it to the church. The corruption of Christ's message. I understand. Right. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. De Plancy? French? Tell me, are you related to Arthur Pie? It's coming together, isn't it? It's coming together. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you have a son by the name of Arthur? Likewise, pet. Think carefully. It may be your last chance. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? Right enough. I... I've been attending oh. St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I didn't click. See, I've, I've clicked to advance through it. I, I put that setting on. I always want to help where I can. So I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. How much upkeep do you need? I mean, look at it. It's rock solid. Wood. It's made of wood trees last forever. Glass. Glass doesn't need rot. I know it's stone. Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. If only somebody shot that fucking dog up. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? The fucking weather spoons. With this train coming through here, it'll be a Weatherspoons come next summer. It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. That'll be a nice wee bit. That'll be a nice wee bit to kind of sit in there. That'll be a kind of wee, uh, nice to book that for a wee function. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Worship. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. Say something. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Leonard Shoulder. I don't know if I do. I think I've heard that. I might just be getting mixed up with Shoulder, the, the the part of your hair. I just might be getting mixed up with that. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I know Leonard. Liars. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. 
I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. And you play on entels? Help you. Roach? Has he got any Roach material, man? Rip the wee, the wee card bit, you get a packet of fags, the wee thing where you, you collect all the tokens, you get yourself a speedboat. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man, and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. Corrupt! Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Right, and how do you know that? How would anybody know that? Thank you. I'll go find him. No, I won't. Be sure My game. To listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. Evil. Where can I find Father Roach again? At this time. Right. Thank you, Mrs. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? <gasps> Hobbs. Why do you want to know about that? Why are you here? I don't want to talk to you anymore. And I'm going to warn Father Roach. You're looking for him. You're a witch. You're a witch, you are. Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow. Liar. Burial mound. Liar. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. Oh, really? This is the only, the only dead that you care about is this. Fuck everybody else. Fuck. You just walk up and do a shite right on any other gravestone, but the people here are all right. Fucking scum. Scummy wee place, this, man. Scummy wee place. I hope they start having dance festivals here. I hope they have dance festivals and a nearby, like, farm, and they fucking wreck this joint. Fucking... Woodstock 99 style. Wrecked. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Lord be with you. Right. Unfortunately, I don't think the cakes are free. No, they're free of you. Steal them. Unfortunately. What's that up there? Mrs. De Plancy. What's that up there? Look, look. Look up there, up there. Alright. Historical. Ah, they didn't want. Look. Look at that. They didn't think. The, the, the devs didn't think I'd notice that. Look, memorial plaque. Right, go read it then. In memory of William Ager. Right. In memory of Peter Black. Right. In memory of Mabel Hurst. I have to look at a specific one of these later and move it. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Right. In memory of Percival Roach. Right. In memory of... Hold on. Hello. Good day. Thank you for your... Lord Not... Right, um... Let's go, let's go this way. Can we go in? Oh! Goodness me, look at these box pews. Pew! Pew, pew! Right. Never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. What's tall? What is? What is? Give me that necklace, that's mine. Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. And then you better pick it up and maybe take it to lost property. A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Silver. Everybody, silver cross. Silver. Like a silver bullet etc something's going on here now maybe I can reunite it with its owner yeah locked locked as well check check a third and final one I think they all might be I know but just double check just have we check locked okay locked Maybe this is actually a key. No, that won't achieve it. All right. Flowers. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. That's not very nice. I've no time for such thing. Go to the altar. 
This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. It's just a, it's just a joke. She's having a wee joke there. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Right. Okay, okay. There's a plaque up there. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. Oh, fuck. So they are. So they are, man. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. I was stuck thanks to the, the, the turn of bits. Horrible to see a yuck pound punching down at a simple Yorkshire folk. Yeah, fucking English. John Stop and Omicron thinks the subs. Can you tell my manager, Matt, to stop being such a cunt? Matt, please sack Omicron immediately. Poison, toxic presence in your workforce. Sensational username thinks it's sub. Nout Bakewell's eye or that eye. Red Spence, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Corwin thinks it's sub. Thank you very much. Right, so why would I come in here? I've got myself that wee cross thing. Silver. Um, these are locked if I find a key at some point. Um, that glove. She got a bit showing everybody in that glove, shouldn't I? You seen this? You seen this? You seen this? Oh, but that's one. It's locked. And? You ain't like it fucking should it be. On you go. Oh. I hear you. Excellent. Oh, oh! <laughs> Chris? Chris? Very sorry. Fucking loved that wee thing that we loved, loved that wee thing. That wee close up. Oh, the shame. Christopher Lee? How did they get in Christopher Lee? He's dead. This malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. Right. Excuse me? Got me. I beg you. Oh, that's a bit kinky. I don't know if I'm into all that. I'm not going near it. It smells disgusting. Oh, it's sick. Pick up the specs. Ouch! What? The broken lens is extremely sharp. Oh, good. We could use that to cut him. Right. Ouch. Right. Did they get them? Did they get anything? Maybe use the glove? Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. All right, then. Uh, right, you. Are you sure this is the only way, Father? Why is she sounding happy? Are you sure this is the only way, Father, to cut you open? All right, you know best. I beg you, it's the only cure for this torturous malady. Right, all right. Right, you want me to cut you that there is sharp. I can't pick up because it hurts my horn. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. That's right. Right, so if I go to pick them up. Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. Right. Right. So, if only... Here. Do you want me to cut you with a cross? I don't think it's sharp enough. 
Right, I'll I'll get that. I'll get that. I'll get that. Now remember everybody. Remember now. Use the hanky. A gift from my mother. It bears my initial. It bears. I see. This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. Right, no back seating, thank you. God bless. This should work. I will use the broken a sharp shard of glass. That's right. Right, you fucking neck, man. Are you sure you want me to do this? <laughs> Are you sure? You're crazy, Vicar. All right. Yes, it will cure me of my ills. He's not fucking well. You don't fucking slash his fucking face open. Rise. Good liquor. Goes for safe. What's for lunch? Chop top eggs in a cup. Just go like that. Fuck it. It's a free slash, isn't it? Somebody's letting you slash him. Fuck it. Fucking slash, man. Get him fucking sent to the Vicky. I shall do as you ask, Father. Blood. The blood of the martyrs compels you. Are you alright? Oh, we are. Alright. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. Ah, good, good, good. God bless you. Bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. Chuffed. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of St. Edmund's Church. That's I know one who I spoke with. What's her name outside selling cakes outside your church? Um, this is the... the I uh, can't remember. You, you can't have that. Is this some kind of joke? What? She died one year ago today. I've tried to hear his voice. My name is Thomasina Bateman. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you. Uh, tell me about just be bad about yourself. Are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry. That's all. Mate, right, so well, Wolf? I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. Your supper? They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. It's unfortunate, yeah. So, are you from Bewley originally? Are you from Bewley originally? I was born in our very own St Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. Mm. My mother was sheltering there as a frightful tempest raged. Right. Lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew? One could say that you were born into your role, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. Uh, I'm looking for Leonard's shoulder, not for your shite. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? Yes. No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? No. He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. It's a set-up. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. He'll be deed. He'll be any such deed, and this will be sent. Thank you, Father. I've been stitched up. Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register. Um, well, that's actually a GDPR thing. That's... Aye. Yeah. But I suppose we're not really bound by the, the EU rules anymore because we we chose to, to do things the other way and get rid of that fucking nasty, nasty... Uh, Bill of Human Rights shite. No need. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do. Oh, good. Capital. Thank you. 
Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. All right. We'll be resting here for the time being. Well, um, I'm meant to go on right now. Right now, I'm fuck it. To go to Mr. Shoulders' house. Excellent. I feel the fresh air will do me well. Follow me. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's go. Without further ado. There we are. Straight past all this. Good morning, father. She didn't give me a cake for nothing, even though I'm a newcomer. I said I was a Christian. And she said, well, I'm not giving you a cake then. I'm a witch. She said she was a witch. Swift Pro thinks of the sub. Hey, let me up here. That's right. You'll be next. Drawn from memory. Thanks for the sub. Good morning, Mrs. De Plancy. Mrs. De Plancy, this is Thomasina. Oh, yes, uh, we've met. Uh, a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, Father. Excellent. Miss Bateman, don't hesitate to try one of Mrs. De Plancy's wonderful cakes. Uh, well, well, I was wanting to sell the... Okay, anything you say, Father. I suppose if the money's gone to the church and you don't mind, well... There's no higher authority than you, uh, except, of course, the Lord, you see. Uh... Yes, I've heard about her famous Bakewell puddings. I'll be here all day, young lady. But remember, once they're gone, they're gone. Those little whelps have already gobbled up all the gingerbread. You are doing God's work, Mrs. De Plancy. He smiles upon us, Father. Miss Bateman, if you'd like to follow me... Let's go. Yes. Let's talk of graves, of worms. No, epitaph. you're taking me to this consus. Make dust our paper, and with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Shut that fucking dog up. Let's choose executors. And talk of wills. Shakespeare? Right. Which play? Uh, that is... Uh, that is... Uh, first uh, graveyard Hamlet, I suppose. Perhaps. Uh... But I'm going to go with something different with... Um, uh, Death of a Salesman. Hamlet? Magnificent guess, Miss Bateman. And but wrong. But I'm afraid that passage is from Richard II. Right, so it's not a good guess then. It's a bad guess. A terrible guess. It's wrong. Studying the work of the Bard is one of my favourite pastimes. So fucking interesting. You're so educated, so cultured. Follow me. Thank you. I know who asked. Who asked? I'm away for a Richard the Third. Ah, nice one. Behold, the vast expanse of God's creation. It's a bit shit. The moors extend as far as the mortal eye can see. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because if I went, if I started walking, they would eventually stop. I mean, these they don't go all the way around the fucking globe. Eventually, they will stop. It's a liar. Beautiful, is it not? No. Indeed, the mills are beautiful. I find them rather desolate. Beauty's an eye of the beholder. Desolate. I find them rather desolate. Really? I disagree. You disagree with how I feel? How can you disagree with how I... Are you telling me I don't feel that way? Are you telling me that I don't feel that way because I've had enough of this shit on Twitter when I say that I didn't like a certain album and people say, oh, come on, you're wrong. What about this song? I'm telling you I'm fucking writing how I feel. 
oh, I, there was some tuna in that food. I didn't like it. I don't like tuna. Your rang tuna is amazing. Oh, so I did like it, did I? So I did like it. The beauty of God's creation is that it takes so many forms. How can one take in such a view and not have faith? Well, actually, I don't have faith. I have knowledge that he exists, Father. My knowledge beats your faith. You believe, but I know I should be the top dog of the church now. Me. You have faith. I know. That's what I would say to him. I'd say, give me the keys to the church because I'm better than you. At this. Some look at these moors and think this a godless land. But I tell you, he is found in all domains. Domain names. The Lord's work is all about us. <sighs> There's no fucking God in some of the some of the domains I've fucking seen. <laughs> no fucking God the hell, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? I don't believe that I know. Take off your robes, give them to me. Tell to his father, which seems prepared to hear it. Lie, you might want to avoid a tense. Um, I was brought up Anglican. But after the illness that befell my father, I thought, I can't see why this is part of God's plan. My mother, my mother, she delved deeper into her faith that she had previously lapsed from, from which she had previously lapsed. I, on the other hand, was driven away from some god. And Father, where do you stand on illness? How do we make sense? The church was an important part of my early life, Father Roach. But what happened to my father oh! actually made me question- Link! Was this say? But did she say any of this? Has she said any of this before? Has she said? Is this any of this came up before? And I've just fucking no remembered it. Thanks for the subs. Oh, please say the thing about your mod diving further into faith, please. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the sub. Fuck believing in God. I believe in me. Thank you very much. It's not mutually exclusive. It's all. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. God won't be jealous. Chill sandwich. Thanks for the sub. I was just wondering, do you still have the big rubber cock that you played with in some old streams? Aye, it's sitting in a, like a drawer or something. So I think it's in the wardrobe. Modsler, thanks for sub. 32 months of cruising the banter bus and we'll keep riding it until the wheels fall off. Thank you for it along with your hair, old, you know, fucking old hair, you. I think, well, you can't, you can't use it if you're, if you're hinting that it could be used for sexual things. It's soft as anything. You know, but if you're, if you're going to try and stick it up some sort of hole or whatever, it would just be like pushing in fucking, I don't know. Um, my rope not even rope rope can be if you fold their rope a bit you know it could you could fucking whack somebody out of the head with it knock them out 
know this. DJ thinks a sub. I don't have faith in limit of knowledge through limit. Thank you, yes. Oh, it's only through him. A fucking Millwall brick. What a creation, eh? A Millwall brick. Is that what it's called? Unbelievable. You can take a newspaper. Roll it up or fold it up in a kind of long bit. Then fold that up. And you basically have a fucking brick hard weapon. <laughs> oh, can we have a moment? It's uh, October, first moment of October, please. I said brick hard weapon. Oh. A lot of you just want to know what I'm talking about. Did we get a moment? Is it done? Maybe, maybe no. That fucking whack! With paper! Turn that into a fucking... Knock somebody right fucking out! If you don't mind me asking, my child, what happened to your father? He had an accident when I was very young. Right, so that's no illness. Oh, look at this! Come along now, Thomasina. Let's get out of the rain. Come on in out of the rain. Come on in out of the rain. Remember what I told you, all right? What's that song? Who did that song? Something like, Come on in out of the rain. Come on in another Don't know if that's exactly how the tune goes, I can't remember. Who is that? Be a good girl. People are unwell here. They don't want to hear you running about making noise. Understood? Yes, mother. Good. And don't annoy the nurses. Fuck up. I promise I won't. Good. Now, let's see your father. My father. My father was a very important person. <laughs> Daddy, wake up. Daddy, wake up. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Bateman. Hello, little one. You must be Thomasina? Yes. Y yes. My name is Nurse Blaketon. Nurse Blaketon. Remember that name? Uh, here, wait a minute. What is that again? What, at the beginning of the game, it was talking about Nurse Blaketon. What was that again? Go and see Nurse Blaketon or um what, what was that again? I can't fucking remember. You skipped it. There was a bit at the beginning. Nurse Blaketon. It said at the beginning. Something to do with Nurse Blaketon. Wait a minute. I just need to talk to your mummy for a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Bates. We say it we say it for now. Mrs. Bateman? Will he ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? The doctor is uncertain, Mrs. Bateman. There is the possibility that Mr. Bateman won't regain any movement at all. Oh, da is Leonard Shadonna. But we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst, man. Ticehurst? What was that? I was talking about that at the beginning. I can't remember if, that, if that's where I fucking live. He will have a nurse by his side at all times. I can assure you. So that's still alive? 
after all this fucking time? I can't remember. What sort of god would allow this fate to befall such a Before kind I said and honest the film. man? Such a kind and honest man. I'm sorry to hear this. God moves in mysterious ways, but he loves us all. Love moves in mysterious ways. Hmm. Oh fuck, here she goes. Come on that now. Sounded like a beehive again. Hmm. Love moves in mysterious ways. Hello. Who's this? Oh. She scampered off in a hurry. Who was that? Some primitive folk make their home out on the moors. Oh, primitive folk. You mean jocks? I suggest you keep your wits about you when you are exploring. And don't stray too far from Bewley. I see. We've got a jock problem. How much farther to Mr. Shoulder? Still oh. quite a walk, I'm sure. afraid. But we'll get to him soon enough. He's at it. Now then, take a look at this. Don't you dare on me, you put it away. Oh, sorry, right, right. Legend has it that this cairn has stood here for over a thousand years. Cairn. Slasher, thank you very much for the sub. At the hospital, newborn girl, Bonnie, can I get welcome? Bonnie, welcome. I hope you have a right good time. Liam Moore and better call Sean Nanasol thanks to subs. My lord, my saviour, Livington, thank you very fucking much. Welcome, my child. Band for the baby. How remarkable. The devil's toe. I, I, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> well, that's what it's called. The Devil's Toe. Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. Was that meant to be... We walked and walked across that vast, featureless landscape. All the while, Father Roach was whistling away merrily. Just as I had begun to wonder if we were hopelessly lost, a building emerged from the mist. Mr. Shoulder's cottage. There we go. Oh, so this is it. Here we are, Miss Bateman. Just, just in there. Just, I just, I just, and you go. I, and I, I <laughs> shutting the door. You get the feeling something's a bit happening here. Unless my memory fails me completely, this is Mr. Leonard Shoulder's house. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. Now, now. No need to thank me after your providential assistance to Papa me. Roach. However, I have something to ask you. Not interested. Yes? Please don't tell Mrs. De Plancy about my little scene in the woods. Well... What's it worth? I'll keep my mouth shut if you can get me... five of her uh, Bakewell puddings for free. She will only fret. The poor dear woman has enough on her mind as it is. What like? Is there any kind of any bad things that have happened to her? Any bad news or anything that I could maybe pray upon? And anything you can tell me that's on her mind? Has she got any people that she doesn't get on with that I could maybe befriend and we can you know conspire against her? It's just I just wanted one bake well pudding, just one. I'm a newcomer to the town, and she's like, "No." I shan't mention it. Thank you. You'd better see if Mr. Shoulder is in. Mr. Shoulder. A rooster. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. Right. 
Here, chuk chuk chuk. Don't encourage them. Beg a fucking pardon. You fucking shut up, you. That's you. You can go now. Thanks for showing me. Right, that's the thesis. Bye. And by the way, by the way, I'm going to tell her. All right. Why? Because I can. Mr. Shoulder. Mr. Shoulder. That's a joke, this, isn't it? Is the twist in this game you find out? It zooms out. It zooms out. And we're in. Like we're cells in somebody's body and we're running about the shudder region. Is it that? Do you think that's what it is? Are we white blood cells or something? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm Be here in Bewley as discussed. Bewley sounds like balls. Thomasina sounds like Tom tongue. Maybe try again. His hearing probably. Fuck the bed, up, is it? you! Why are you still here? A carved stone has been affixed to the door. Right. I think it depicts a crescent moon. A crescent moon. Father, right. what do you make of this? Do you make it a sin? Looks like witchcraft to me. Do you want to we'll drag him out and uh, get him burnt at the stake? One more, one more time up that clothesline there to the right and get him burnt. A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Bewley. Though it does remind me of a passage by the bard himself. Uh huh. <clears throat> it is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont and makes men mad. I see. Are you talking about werewolves? Othello, yes. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, yes. Romeo and Juliet. A fine tragedy. But that particular passage is from the Fuck great off. Othello. I'm afraid your knowledge of the bard is somewhat lacking. You will be afraid. You should be afraid being out here alone with me. You should be afraid. It's been a while since I've read his work, father. Never mind. Never mind you, you will not have a fucking mind because I'm going to kick your stupid fucking brain out of that stupid fucking skull. Right. A carved stone has been right. affixed. I think it depicts a cre... Are you going to take it? It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. I'll get that. Right. Look through the window. No sign of life. You seen a life between your fucking ears, you daft cunt. None. The window is nice and clean. The dwelling is by no means a bad. Oh, dwelling. Dwelling. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. Have you tried it? Have you ever tried it? You're just completely. You just keep writing off these ideas without getting out a shot. Or oh, some trousers. The trousers feel damp. Right. Freshly hung, or still wet from last night's rain? That's your, that's your question there. Naruto Boy 6 is sub. Has the Blambi taken long gone? Oh, that's your banter for the... All oh, right, right. Tankenstein thinks the sub. My church is twitching, my lord and saviour is limbing. Maybe he finds strength in his banter. It means... Ah, ah, blam. No, amen. Amen, but ah, blam. Morpheus, thanks for the sub. Slightly damp. Get on fucking sniffed, man. Get old cunts fucking long john sniffed. I have a similar one myself. So very Fuck damp. up you! Are you still here? Another glove! The glove looks I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and fire. A white glove, everybody. That glove. I wonder if it matches the... The gloves are a pair. Yes. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? I used the glove with the glove. Why didn't he come inside to see me? Right. 
Mr. Shoulder must have dropped the matching yep. glove last night. Right. What was he doing in the... What was he doing there? There you go. Rude of him not to come inside and see me. Well said. Right. Can I go any further? A garment glove. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to him about this glove. Oh, I'm not doing all that. That's for the moral. Thank you for your time. It's 128. Look Here's what we're going to do. You. I'll be with you. Uh, all right, then. Canto. That's a Canto save. That's a Canto save. And that there will be getting sold on the dark web on a USB drive. The Canto save they'll call it. It'll be like... What was it? The, what was it they used to do with um, uh, people wanting Prestige Ten on um, what's its name? Uh, Modern Warfare Two. What was that? I that no, that's it's no bend. No, that's me finished for the day. Nine thirty to one thirty, strict and sharp. The people you know used to do that modded lobbies. Did some people not actually share? Like something on a flash drive or something, a wee thumb drive. Discord is the one for some reason. I don't. Let me just double check. Close it down. Is that quit Discord? Just, just read it, double check. Double check. Open it back up. Is it opening? It is. We're all right. We're all right. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay. But the yeah, that yeah, that 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 right. Um, calico. And Vizelt, thanks to subs. I've enjoyed this flavour of Yorkshire today. Yorkshire by the bread, you know what we like. I'm a good York Yorkshire lass, you know what we like. Yorkshire man, you know what we like. Good Yorkshire lad. I'm a good Yorkshire lad, you know what we like. Good Yorkshire boy, you know what we like. You're good Yorkshire boy. I look for a guy that just speaks his mind. I'm a Yorkshire lash, you know what we like. I'm a good Yorkshire boy. I'm a good Yorkshire boy. Oi. Yorkshire boy. 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 Yorkshire boy. You know what we like. I'm just looking for a lass that tells it like it is. I'm a good Yorkshire boy. You know what we like. Everybody, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Mods, thank you very much for the mod in the day. Good to be back. Do you know, seeing no being on Saturday and Sunday, and I, you know, coming on the day, when I was ready to start streaming today, I thought, I feel like I've like no been on for a fucking week. It was like a fucking fortnight. I'm like, was that? I was on on Friday, wasn't I? Aye. Just Saturday and Sunday. Feels like I've been away for, for, for forever. Uh, everybody, I will, I will see you. I will see you the morrow morning, nine thirty a.m. BST because the clocks have to went back yet, so it's still BST, no GMT stroke UTC. For Mary, the fucking same. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm enjoying that game. That's right up my street. So it is. There's mystery. It looks and feels good as a game. I like the weird animation bits with the day stuff that you don't normally see in point and clicks for, for the original days. And there's part of potential. There's part of potential. There's no part of potential in fucking um, grounded. Me going a bit gone, right, so I need this. Right, so to get that, I need to make the... Uh, the rope and all that make the rope I need to so I've got to pick that up but if I make that I've got to make the roof how am I going to do that until this how am I going to do this until that 
I do like survival games, but there comes a point. That that's something there was just something a bit too f I couldn't really get pure up and running with that game like I could with all these other survival games. Something about it. For something that looks so childish. There was something about it I couldn't quite get fucking right into it. Don't know what. Don't know what. So I will see you tomorrow at 9.30am. BST, British Summer Time. For many the same. Until then, Flacitude thanks to the sub. Thank you very much. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Okay.